What is up, everybody? His Royal Fan is here, and welcome back to the channel and to today's live stream where I will be playing the Progetto 65. Now, the Progetto 65 is a tank that I have for quite a long time considered to be eh, kind of average, not really that interesting, not even all that great. Well, it had its moments. I never really particularly enjoyed the tank, but I recently started playing it again. I'm like, you know what? This tank actually isn't so bad. I've barely played it in the last few years. Maybe I just need some time away to get used to it again. And so today I'm going to be uh, showcasing some lit Progetto gameplay to you know, help you guys understand if the tank is still worth getting or playing nowadays and uh, just how I kind of play. It should be some good stuff. Hope you guys are doing well, by the way. Welcome to the stream. Uh, let me know how the quality is. I had to switch YouTube servers last second because the other one wasn't doing so well, but seems to be running smooth now, which is good. And uh, hope you guys are having a great uh, Memorial Day week, week. And I guess Monday, if you are if you are in the States and everything. And everyone else, hope you're doing well. Being fan is where you guys stream all in the class. What's up, Fatty? Hey, Benny. How's it going, Benny? Hope you're doing well. Make sure to smash that like button, guys. This is always appreciated, the support on the channel. And uh, yeah, I'm in the top 60 watching the stream. Hey, let's go, dude. Fatty, can you play 205B, please? I was going to stream 205B, but I played a few games in it today. I was like, this ain't it, Chief. <laughs> I decided the Progetto was more interesting. I know. We'll do the 205B maybe later, some other time. I don't know. 205B is a bit in a bit of a difficult spot right now. Anyways... Progetto, auto-reloading, Italian meds. We all know this tank. We all love the standard B. The Progetto, a little bit less universally loved, although I think a lot of players still do appreciate it as a, a good gun. I think the standard B's gun is better. Standard B gets better accuracy. It gets, of course, the HEP rounds, high explosive rounds with good pen, all that good stuff. But the Progetto definitely gets way more armor. Uh, I think it does get a little bit better DPM as well. There's a lot of things going for it. Auto reloaders have a very bizarre play style. Where you can re reload an entire magazine, dump 1,000 damage out, and then, you know, seven seconds later, you have the next 350 alpha damage shell you can dump in. So you can calculate a lot more what targets you can kill and when to push uh, push and pressure vehicles versus a generic auto loader where you have to find 15 to 20 seconds to reload your entire magazine before moving. Not the case with the Progetto. Progetto has that versatility. Also, Progetto has some pretty uh, troll armor. Something to keep in mind. I would recommend running enhanced armor. Shout out to the subs. When I made my how to play Progetto video uh, like a year ago, uh, you guys were like, bro, run armor. You're going to get those auto ricochets. I was like, oh, for real? Um... So I switched. It, it actually does work. It's incredible how many ricochets the Progetto can get off of its angled hull. It doesn't have the thickest to most reliable hull armor, but at certain angles, my goodness, this tank can be quite trolling the armor department. I am running calibrated as I usually do with most auto loaders. You want to make every shot pen. Really important for heat. And that's really like the important stuff. Everything else is whatever. Double food, adrenaline. Uh, well, we don't have adrenaline, do we? It's an auto reloader. Uh, speed boost, all that good stuff. So yeah, Progetto 65, Chris Johnson, Tennessee, Juan, Robin, Sebi, Sir Hades, uh, CG War Monkey, Keen Dat, <laughs> uh, Boss Like Cheese, Tiff, how's it going, guys? JP Morgan, hope you're doing well. Welcome to the stream. It's good to see you here this evening. Without the way, let's jump right on into some lovely Progetto action. So, the Progetto is really a quite versatile medium tank. And I think that's one thing that is kind of special is you're not really limited to one specific role unlike a lot of other meds, which can be quite limited. Uh, you have the ability to perform as an auto loader. You have the ability to perform as a single shot damage farming vehicle, albeit not as good as other meds. And of course, you also have the ability to use ridge lines with your good gun depression. You can even brawl to some extent. It is quite versatile, which is nice. And when you use it correctly, you can actually have some really good games in this vehicle. So let's jump right on into it. The enemy team only have zero meds. Let's go. This is a great opportunity. So as they have no meds, I'm not going to commit to the far corner. The far corner is great, but you know, that's where you go to eliminate their meds and move into their spawn. I would rather spot this crossing right off the bat, get a good idea of just where the enemy are, and then we can make our play from there. So our entire magazine is already loaded up. We found a wild 57 heavy. Let's aim a quick shell to his side. Now, if there's one gripe I do have with the Progetto, it's that its accuracy is is not the best. 
This is something us Projeto drivers have accepted, but do keep that in mind that your uh, accuracy is a little troll unless you fully aim it in, in which case it actually works pretty well. So we got some good early shots off to start this game off, although we didn't get a great opportunity to spot up all of their tank destroyers. So, no, okay, never mind. I take it back. There's a 4 5 and Fosh. And just like that, we have a couple of more shots loaded up. Oh, I can't shoot. I, I am a Muppet. Okay, well, we have one more shell loaded in. It looks like the entirety of the enemy team is over on this right-hand side. So I'm going to go all the way into the enemy spawn. I've been a little bit too passive. We are up 2-0. Enemy team are already down at E100 and the Fosh. We know the E4 is back here as well. We're just going to load our magazine up and then jump right on into the next target and hopefully pick up some good old damage before this game is over because the enemy team do not have too many vehicles remaining in good health. So, 4005 is on our right. Let's up an HE. Let's see if maybe we can HE him. Boom. He's not running a spall liner. There is also a VKB down here. We'll need to load up a heat shell. This is why I do prefer calibrated. And oh my goodness, it's a wild K91. Let's just dump our full magazine and pull back. And then we can wait a pressure play. Um, hopefully the stream isn't too choppy. I see that OBS is being a little bit finicky, but it should still be pretty smooth. Um, I am using the regular server again, which doesn't like me very much, but the other server was having even more issues. YouTube servers can be a little, uh, wacko at times. Let's pick up a kill on this K91. Not really the best kill to pick up there because I was about to reload my second shot and I totally fluffed it. But yeah, I mean, overall, as a, as a passive damage farming vehicle, the Progetto can work quite well. Waffenträger is about to get some chill on farm in here. Very good, my dude. Let's put another shell into this dude. And I don't know if we out-reload the Progetto, but, or Waffenträger, but that's just about, we should get just about 3,000 damage out. I think I out-reload him. And, uh, not too shabby of a game. The enemy team wasn't all that incredible there. Uh, I was actually a little slow, and here's where having something like a Leopard 1 would have been preferable, because that insane DPM meant having that whole flank to yourself, you could just go pew, 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 you know, every six seconds, whereas the Progetto doesn't really do that. It's much better in the kind of farming scenarios where you have to make a pressure, dump a magazine, maybe put a few shots into a tank, clear it out, and then, like, relocate to a different area. That's what's best for the Progetto. Slightly slower gameplay. Uh, so hopefully we won't get too many 7-0 sweeps, although no guarantees. It is not the weekend anymore but it's still a holiday so who knows how it will go way way better than oh okay okay i'm not i'm not gonna jump into that conversation <laughs> what's up man hey kevin how's it going they just finished grinding you heard what do i grind next well what is your favorite type of vehicle figure that out and then decide which kind of tech tree tank will suit your play style the most i have streams on all the tech tree tanks essentially so you know, if you have time, watch them all and figure out what might be interesting to you. Mind you, some of them have changed over the last year and a half or so. All right, so we're going to go right up to the mid to my favorite kind of early spotting position on this game. Uh, we're going to find out right away where the enemy team is. So we find a wild 2 and 5B. Let's put one shell in towards his tracks here. He's not quite looking. Put another shell into his tank. We are not even spotted yet. Let's put a third shot. This 2 and 5B is definitely struggling. Now, the Gorilla 15 has just spotted me up. Let's pull away before he can put any shells into me. That's good news for me. If there's Grill tries to pull back and shoot me. We can put another shell into him. 438. That's where that auto reloader feels really, really nice because any other auto loading gun, I would have had to reload my entire magazine before making any kind of play there. So we know the 60 TP is back there. We know the 205B is in town. I could push up through the mid. And the T22 is already dead, incredibly. Or I could try going through town. The only reason I'm a little hesitant to go through town is I'm worried that the 60 TP would just YOLO me, supported by maybe the grill for cover fire and all that stuff. So we can see the grill is about to make a bit of a pressure play here. Let's aim another shell in towards this tank. Not quite able to hit him. That's fine. It is, after all, a Projeto gun. It's not really meant to snapshot that well. There is the 60 TP as well. I think we can definitely start making a play up towards the cave. So I'm going to retake the entrance of the caves here. We'll ignore the grill temporarily. And our goal is going to be killing this M48 Patton and putting ourselves in a position to start cross-firing out these fools. So we get a nice kill shot into this uh, uh, Patton there. And the grill does hit me, unfortunately. Uh, I suppose that is what it is. Let's put a quick shell into the grill, put it, taking his tracks off, another quick shell towards him. Unfortunately, he gets taken out there, but enemy team have already lost this game. So yeah, another sweep. Uh, Sophia with the butt spam. Fennes, what is some life advice? <laughs> Bruh, go in full head with the spam. Be careful, the mods will destroy you and you will be no more. Okay, so we're going to push right up through the mid here. Uh, let's work down the 60 TP. The 205 is probably not going to stay alive very long. So, boom, one shell towards him. This camouflage interferes with the hit skin a ton. Oh my goodness. Look how much that interferes with the hit skin. Like, it's hard to... So it's kind of hard at what some angles to tell what is gray and not. That's actually low-key kind of uh, juiced. I'll have to remember that for when I'm playing my uh, 
60 TP to uh, to pop the pumpkin camel on. That was crazy. I was like, oh, I thought at first uh, something was wrong, but it's not. Fatty's afraid to assert his dominance over, over Drudels. <laughs> I just don't want to get into that type of argument. So 3,000 damage once again. So neither of these games have been exceptional, but they've been solid examples of the Progetto just doing Progetto stuff. Generally speaking, when I play the Progetto, I try not to get too aggressive, especially at the start. The key with a lot of auto-reloading vehicles or auto-loading vehicles is the later in the game you are and the more hit points you have, the more potent you become as a vehicle. Because once tanks start reaching that, you know, 1,500 to 1,000 hit point range, that's when an auto-loader can just go in and clear a tank up. Maybe take a shot or two for it, but really be extremely deadly to enemy vehicles. So that's why... Generally speaking, with a lot of auto-loading style vehicles, you want to be a little bit more cautious during the beginning of the game. You're not really a scout. Don't go trying to YOLO scout everywhere and stuff like that. And don't drive into bridges while you're looking at your stream chat. Um, and just take it a little easy. Figure out what the enemy team is doing, where they're going. And then once the game's progressed, maybe they're a little bit distracted. That's when you can actually start making the big boy play. So let's put a quick shell into this M60. He won't be able to spot me thanks to the bush, which is good news for me. And we're going to keep spotting right on into this bush here. I know I just said don't try scouting, but this is a little bit of an exception because this isn't a super aggressive position. We also find the one two one. Here's the M60. We have another shell loaded up. His frontal hull armor was just good enough to bounce that shot. So let's pull away before that Waffen Thrower gets any bright ideas and put another shell into the Progetto. I believe that should put me at just about 1,000 damage or so for the start of this game. Very good. And the enemy team are definitely sending a lot of vehicles over to this side of the map. Something to keep in mind. However, they are split. Now we can see a, a Yo, an E100, and a Moishin over on this right hand side. So instead of getting myself stuck into this engagement where I am both outmatched and it's just not preferable fighting all these hold down vehicles, I'm going to utilize the Progetto's mobility to just relocate. We know where their one tank destroyer is. We know where most of their heavy tanks are. Here's a good opportunity for me to just find a position where I can start dumping my damage into these enemy vehicles. Now, this Yo, I have a feeling it's going to give me some shots here in just a moment. Let's aim in for his lower plate. Boom, a nice 350 into his lower plate there. He does pull back. That's fine by me. And what I think I'm going to do here is just pull around behind this Yo. Very good. I don't think the 100 is paying attention. He shouldn't be able to spot me until it's too late. And the Yo is about to clip out his magazine as well, which is great. So now that this Yo is in the open, we're going to find ourselves a nice opportunity to start shooting his tank. 438 into the rear of his vehicle. That's good for me. Now, the Yo has a bit of a disadvantage here that even though he has a very high DPM autoloader, what I'm going to do here is instead of putting that third shell in, I'm just going to reload my next two shots. That way, no matter what, when it comes time to kill this Yo, I can just kill him straight up. This is something regular auto loaders wouldn't, have to, wouldn't be able to do without going full ham on the reload. So we can see this Yo is giving me a nice shot here. Unfortunately, that one doesn't quite go in. I think at this point, I'm just going to go take two shots from this Yo. I don't think he reloaded his whole magazine, which is great. And once again, I will have damage per minute over this Yo here because he has, I believe, a 16, 16, 15, or maybe it's a 13 second magazine reload. My brain is not working, but that doesn't matter matters so much to a tank like the Progetto with your auto reloader, it is quite helpful. So we can see there is an E100. I'll take a shot from the Kron in exchange for killing his vehicle, and that leaves this game pretty much done with. What we will do from here is just reload our whole magazine once again, try and get safe from this Kron. He does shoot at me one more time. We know the Waffenträger probably is still up in the corner here. I'm just going to reload the magazine, that way I can farm as much damage out as possible on this dude. You know what? Two shots is all I'm going to get anyway, so I may as well just go for two shots here. Boom. Pick up a quick kill on his vehicle. That's just under 4,000 damage dealt very solid and that leaves a wild Waffenträger all the way in her spawn who is 1v1ing a Kampfpanzer 70T and with the great mobility in the Progetto I should be able to get another magazine into him so let's aim for maybe 5,000 damage this game I think we could pull it off let's totally go for it of course, he is very slow on his fire extinguisher reaction time, so we probably won't be able to get 5,000 out. I don't think we have enough hit points in the game for me to farm. Uh, well, it is... <laughs> Unfortunate, but I accept this result. Anyways, we have a wild 5A. Goodness, the 5A is a fast tank. And uh, I, I'm just going to full send it for the Waffenträger. Let's put one quick shell to him. Quick little ram. Oh, the 5A fluffs your shot. No, the Kampfpanzer does. We got about, I don't know, 4.5? What do you think? With the ram and everything, a solid game. And that was a great example of what I was talking about in the Progetto. That you become much more deadly the later on that a game progresses. And at the start, it is a better idea to just take it a little bit easy. Chill. 
spot the enemy tanks, maybe get a few shots off, which is what I did at the start of that battle. You know, we spotted up their meds, we took a few shots, but instead of just sitting there and committing to that fight, I decided, you know what, they have three semi-isolated heavy tanks. One of them has already bled out quite a few hit points, and my team is mostly concentrated in that zone. Let's use our mobility flex around and start picking up kills on those vehicles. And that is just what the Progetto does really, really well, and stuff to keep in mind. Hello, everyone. Hey, Alchemist, how's it going? Currently, 57 is better, but after the update, the AMX may be better. Uh, who knows? Who no, it depends on what Wargaming does to the 50B. We will find out eventually. Finance, do you think Wargaming will buff E5 and 215B? They better. Both those things need buffs, okay? So let's look at the lineup. Vickers, Progetto, 62A. They also have quite a few heavy tanks. In terms of outright numbers, we are outmatched, although we do have a 60 TP coming in to provide us with the big brain assistance. So I'm going to be a little bit passive here for the time being. Let's try and see if we can kind of encourage some of these players to overextend a little bit, maybe pull a forward onto me. I don't want to commit to this fight just yet. I have a feeling this Vickers will make a play soon. So here's the Vickers light. He does pull down. And it looks like the enemy's heavy tanks have gone in towards the town here, which is good. So our 1-2-1 should be able to take that right corner. And with the support of Mr. 60TP, we might be able to make a bit of an aggressive play here. There's the Progetto pushing into our right side. 62A is being also pretty aggressive here. Let's put a quick shell into his tank and pull back before he can shoot at me. Good stuff. And it looks like the Vickers is also being a little bit more aggressive here. So let's get ready to pull another shell into the Vickers. Unfortunately, we had to waste our second shot and the 62A is taking a shot as well. So looking at how this engagement is progressing, 62A needs to die first, and then we will focus our effort on the Progetto. We have two shots loaded in. One quick shot to this dude. He's going to go down to the one two, one Now we're going to focus out the Vickers Light because he is the second lowest HP target here. Let's wait till we have two shots. I could wait for three, but I don't think I'll get another opportunity to shoot at him. So let's put another shell to this dude. Looks like he is not doing so well in the HP department. Another shell into him, catching him on fire, picking up the kill. And you can see we waited for a 60 TP to provide support and all that necessary stuff. But once we had the proper support, we were able to make good use of this magazine and just waiting on the proper time to reload and dump your next shell in. That's really important with the Progetto. Let's put another H into this dude. This Progetto is not doing well. We've already done probably close to... Oh, he didn't manage to pick up the kill. How unfortunate. We got pretty close to 3,000 damage right off the start of this game. Good work to the 60 TP, providing support, and the one to one staying alive in the mid there. Now is a good opportunity to start pressuring in behind these dudes as they're starting to push down onto our poor, isolated Jagd Panzer E100. So the 60 TP do be looking a bit like a snack over here. Let's wait for to see if he pulls forward or backwards, just enough to give me maybe a shot onto the rear of his tank. I believe I am still spotted, but it's worth, worth waiting to see if he pulls back. We can see where the 183 is. And he might pull back just enough for me to get one shell into rear of his tank here. And maybe a second shot. Not quite. That is perfectly fine. The 183 is pre in this corner. So we can't quite push onto him. Although the 1 to 1 is here with me. So let's just wait and see. The 1 to 1 might make the bit of a mistake here. I'm not going to overpressure. But uh, 60 TP, if you want to, be my guest. 60 TP picks up a kill. One shell into the Kron. Very good stuff. We're going to focus the Kron out because he has the nasty auto loader. Another shell into the Kron. Also good stuff. Let's pick up a quick kill on the 60 TP. Very good stuff. And then. You can see this this auto reloader is just working an absolute charm. I can reload two shots and then we can just pick up a kill straight up onto this Kronwagen. Or heck, we might even be able to do something about the 60 TP if you were to pull forward or backwards again here. So let's wait to see if the 60 TP does anything. Oh, the Kron just bounced off me. You know what? We'll just, we'll put the Kron out of his misery. You know what? We are actually damaged farmers. Let's put another shell to this dude. Hey, perfect. Kron died anyways. And that's this game over with. The one to one will probably out reload me here, but we might be able to sneak one more shell into him. Boom. 5,000 damage. Easy, good, simple. Progetto stuff, just playing to the tank's advantage, and together with the 60 TP and the 1 to 1, we really made great progress there. Oh my goodness, Anonymous tips $100! Fanny's best commentary, best clean content, and best streamer by far. Sorry, Drudels. And me, D. Anonymous. Thank you very, very much for the tip. I super appreciate the support and everything. Thank you so much. I, I really do appreciate it. Sorry I didn't notice sooner. I was too busy sweating. Hey, we got the ace tanker, though. Ace the Progetto, like four, three or four games in. Nice. Well, thank you so much, Anonymous, for the donation. Super appreciate it. And we reached that 100 like mark at the same time. Today is a good day. Let's jump back into the Progetto for another game. So, yes, we nailed the Ace Tinker as well. This is some good stuff. Sorry, Anonymous Tipping was me. Ritz Crackers. Uh, if it was you, Ritz Crackers, I, I can't always, uh, you know, <laughs> we don't know who it all is. But Ritz Crackers, if that was you, thank you so much. Finance where can I watch your stream? You are watching it right now. <laughs> What's your opinion on Yap on the <laughs> Yap? <laughs> Japanese heavy tanks? Uh we'll see. Once they're released, I will certainly do a lovely long stream. 
Once we reach 30,000 subscribers, I will do my best to do a 10 hour live stream for you guys. Uh, if, of course, that is before my next semester starts. So, let's reach that 30,000 subscriber mark. Of course, um, you know, I'm sure most of you guys are subscribed to the channel, but if you are not, please do consider hitting that subscribe button and pressing the bell notification to get notifications every time his royal fattest live stream goes live. And with that, you can become a very big brain player uh, on the NA server. Exactly. Okay. Uh, so yeah, let's hope hopefully we can reach that 30,000 subscriber mark by the end of July, early August. That's kind of the goal because right now I want to make sure we get there before my next college semester starts up. So we got some pretty good shots here on these heavy tanks. I'm going to put one shell on to track the AMX, a perfect tracking shot on the AMX here. Another shell into the AMX. Now the reason I pulled out slightly from the corner is I, I really can't do much in the corner. I am a progetto. Uh, I don't really have a ton of armor for that. Let's put a quick shell towards the IS-4. I believe that was a full penetration. One really really nice thing about the Progetto 65 is every third shot you hit, you load up your max roll crew. So with your next shot, you have like a 35% chance of max rolling if you have the crew maxed out, the perk maxed out. So that's a really nice aspect of playing this vehicle. And also I'm going to be a little careful in case something like their Yag Panzer had gone towards the ship. I do not believe he did, but it is something to be mindful of as we don't know precisely where they all are. Let's put a quick shell into this PTA. I did unfortunately take a shot from him. Honestly, I didn't think he was gonna poke there because, you know, the TDs could have, the TDs could have uh, greeted him in a very unpleasant way. Let's put a quick shell towards this IS-4 who is demonstrating how to play an IS-4 properly. Now here's where the Progetto's gun is a little bit painful. Uh, of course, that is the one shot that does pen. So the Progetto's gun, as you guys know, isn't ideal for sniping and everything because its accuracy just isn't very poggers, but it doesn't always matter as long as what's in for this tortoise is hatched. Yeah, it does matter a lot. So this is why maybe you don't want to get yourself stuck into an engagement like this where you're stuck sniping at long distance. So what I'm going to do here is while I'm reloading my magazine, we're going to sneak away. Now, I don't think the Yag will be able to spot me. Nice. We're going to sneak away and we're going to do a bit of a drive by on this tortoise who shouldn't be able to spot me. If we go low enough here, the WZ probably is the one that spotted me here. It is the case. And it looks like tortoise will probably be turned around towards me when I arrive in this position. So let's put a quick shell towards this tortoise. Unfortunately, we did kind of ricochet that shot, but we can put another shell to him, which is good for me. Keep an eye on that. Yeah, let's try and see if we can bait a shot for Mr. Tortoise here. Can't quite do that, but let's just reload our whole magazine. Next time the tortoise shoots at me, we will deal with them. So let's see if we can maybe just maybe bait a shot from Mr. Tortoise here. Uh, boom, another shell to Mr. Tortoise. He is now roughly a two shot here. Another shell to Mr. Tortoise. K91 is pushing in on his side here. Another shell to his hatch. That one unfortunately hits the side, so it doesn't quite pen, but we did manage to pick up a nice kill on him. And this was a very ideal uh, way, a way to relocate into Progetto. Instead of just sitting in the open and letting myself get, you know, haul down, engage, going for the haul down engagement, I just took a moment to chill. You know, relax a little bit. Let's wait for the Yag to die. Uh, find a good position where I could just sneak up on their Tortoise, who was isolated, obviously didn't have much support, which made him an easy free kill. Let's put a quick shell into this fool. Looks like the WZ is going to be looking our way soon. He has a one shot almost. We do manage to bait a shell from him. I'm going to shoot the IS-4 because why? I'm a damage farmer. This is what damage farmers do. We, we leave the one shots for the allies to pick up while we're busy farming that 350 damage shell on a different target. So let's pick up a kill shot on this AMX. Good stuff. And the Progetto, oh, the Sheridan does bounce off me there, so that's always nice. That's 4,000 damage dealt. Mission damage farm has been a success. Almost able to hit the Sheridan there, but not quite, because why? My aim sucks. That is that is precisely why. Let's wait for Mr. Shawadan to hopefully pull through. Shawadan, I believe in you. No, Shawadan, why'd you stop? No! I thought I was gonna keep running. So, a very solid ga aim, uh, game. <laughs> Fatness! <laughs> Fatness, you suck. Good night. Thank you, dog. Sorry, Fatness. That all is different harms me. Forgot my ID, duh! Ritz Crackers! Wait, was that it? Ritz Crackers with another $100 donation! Oh my lord, Ritz Crackers! Thank you so much for the channel support. I really appreciate it. Um, and so now everyone knows. Guys, shout out to Ritz Crackers. You can say A in the chat or something. Show this dude some support for being... Uh, absolutely incredible with the double whammy support there. Thank you so much, Ritz Crackers. You are unreal. You are trying to distract me from my gameplay. You're like, bruh, Fanta's gameplay? No, we want we want to see Fanta's bought out as he is having uh, a heart attack or something. I don't know, but thank you for the support. <laughs> oh, man. Very, very pog. Pog Jeto. Okay, let's spot the hill. So, 
They have a lot of heavy tanks. It isn't counter cap on, on the um <laughs> the middle Berg. Sorry guys, I'm just a little bit like a yeah yeah. Show the support. Hey, there we go. Thank you so much, Rich Crackers. <laughs> Fat is getting paid tonight. I know, right? <laughs> oh my goodness. So we're going to spot the entrance of the hill. Here is a wild 60 TP. Let's put a quick shell into him. I am sure I am spotted back. 60 TP might try and shoot at me here. Let's put another shell into him. Let's see if we can baby bait a shell out of him. There is that troll projectile side armor. And we get a few good shots into the 60 TP right off the bat. Now we know there's also a whole read back here. So let's not over peak this. Now look at the mini map. I have absolutely zero support. So I'm going to wait for my camouflage to reset. And then we are just getting out of here. So hopefully Mr. VK doesn't quite spot me up. And I don't think he can. He is a heavy tank without the best rearrange so we gotta we gotta sc scurry off this hill because if we stay here we're gonna become french toast uh or maybe not french toast but uh uh asiago toast yes we will become asiago toast is asiago italian cheese i, I don't know don't mind me. I am stupid. Okay, so we're jumping into it. I had to leave and head into the town because, as you can see, my team is very much split up, not providing the most ideal support. However, Mr. E100 is also having a very unpoggers morning as he gets yoinked for all of his hit points by the firing squad that we have here in the town. And this is definitely good rotation for me to make in the Progetto because, you know, I'm not having to deal with their whole team by myself. Funnily enough, dealing with the whole team by yourself, generally speaking, doesn't end well. So we have a wild VK. Oh, and a wild Hobri. Okay, so y'all were just waiting for me. That's fine. I can put another shell into this Hobri, though. We'll pull back before the Fosh gets another opportunity to shoot at me, and we can start doing it maybe with this Chief to Mark 6 or something. So I didn't expect all the TDs to be pre-aiming there. I thought they'd be looking for the E100 and the 60 TP, but as you can see, they were a little thirsty for Progetto action. Maybe it's just because these Italian tanks are just like pasta. And everyone loves pasta. Well, almost everyone loves pasta. So, you know, enemy team are like, we must farm. So, uh, yeah. Chief to Mark 6. We have a wild TI2. Don't think he's in the vicinity for me to shoot at him, although he's about to be. Yoink. I can't quite hit that shot. I don't think I'll get spotted from this angle. So I'm going to go up the entrance of hill here. Let's just sneak across before the wild Fosh and hope he can spot me up. Boom. Quick shout out to the Fosh. We also have an opportunity to shoot at this chieftain. So we're just putting ourselves into a position with some prime farm. Another shout out to this dude. Of course, the chieftain hits a shot with zero aim because he is talented. There's also a TI2 back here. Let's pre-aim for him. Boom. Not quite able to hit him. I don't want to risk it in case I was still spotted, but we have a really good kind of crossfire from this position. So as long as Mr. Hori doesn't say, hey, yo, I don't like you. I'm going to exterminate you. We should be chilling here. So let's put another shell into the chieftain. No! Progetto gun! What are you doing? So the Progetto's gun is like not really enjoying its behavior right now. Let's put a quick shot to the VK. Although we've already farmed 3,000 damage. So the goal is just, is just unload one more magazine. Unload one more magazine and we're chilling. Although, that's not going to happen because Mr. Hori... Oh, that Progetto whole armor says, no you. No you, Hori. No you. Hori gets absolutely hammered by the Progetto's whole armor. That's what I'm talking about, guys. That's why you want armor on this tank. Because you get the most ridiculous ricochets sometimes with this vehicle as we bop that poor holy out of existence and i hope my allies don't cap because i want some damage on this vk72 who is just chilling in the open waiting to die i can't believe we survived that i didn't even angle my man's just ricochet off the upper plate look at that mark oh i love how this tank's upper plate armor works sometimes it is absolutely incredible so we got a wild vk over here and uh, it looks like we might... Oh! Oh my gosh! We got another ricochet! I'm telling you guys, this tank's upper plate is unreal sometimes. <laughs> you can bait it so hardcore. Look at all these ricochets. Oh, there we go. This is what makes the Progetto really, really interesting in my opinion. It's not necessarily the auto reloader, which is great and unique and everything. It's, it's simply the fact that you have a Object 140 style upper plate, which you can really bait ricochets off of. And it's so weird because certain caliber guns that don't quite reach the mark, they will just struggle so much to pen this next upper plate without heat shells. HR is very animated today, lol. Yeah, well, I received two monster donations. Of, of course I am animated. I'm hyped. <laughs> and plus I'm performing well at the Progetto. So I, so I can't uh, I can't be mad, right? Eventually it's not going to go so well. So enemy team, object 84, leopard one. It's me and the Bashatiol. Now, as you can see... My allies are going town, so we're going to go town as well. As you guys know, I'm not a huge fan of actually going medside on uh, Ghost Factory. It is a very, um, 
from from the north spawn, it's a very unideal position, in my opinion. You're above the enemy, they're looking up at you, you don't have enough gun to pressure without overextending, it's easier for them to hold, blah, yada, 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 all that stuff. I prefer to actually go left, although I have a strong feeling the enemy team are going to send most of their forces probably towards that right-hand corner. But we're still going to take the Spaghetto over here to the mid and see if we can get some early spotting, potentially on any heavy tanks that might be coming this way. Although, as I stated, I highly doubt they're going to send their forces here. So we are going to make the aggressive play. And the goal is to see if we can find any isolated tank destroyers or anything like that and shoot them and, and hopefully kill them. Fighting in these hills is actually a very decent position as long as you take it carefully and don't get counter yellowed by their entire team. I do have a Bash the on with me, so I'm just just making sure I have some allies to support me here. If I were to push in completely by myself, I wouldn't have the bat shot to take the shots for me while I'm running away. Exactly, guys. That's how super, super unicorn logic works. Do you have meat shields? That is what your teammates are. I am kidding. Do not hate me. I apologize if I insulted anyone. So obviously our teams are going in circles, but we have spotted the VK-72 up. One shell into him. We should be able to hit, hopefully, a second shell into his tank there. Very spicy shot. VK-72 getting absolutely hammered. We do hit a couple of very nice shots into his tank, and it seems pretty obvious at this point that the enemy forces are straight up just going towards the town. Now, this E4 might get distracted in a moment, and when he does, I'll have an opportunity to pop a couple shots into his tank. So let's aim for his side there. Boom, easy side shot. But instead of just sitting in the open and letting myself take another shell, I think I'm going to back up from here. And we can see the Object 84 and the Leopard 1 are pushing it on our side. So we don't know where the Object 263 is. And the 263 is going to be my big nemesis of this game. That high DPM tank that is super dangerous. That's going to be the target I want to kill first here. Because if we leave him alive, he could just YOLO me and my life becomes extraordinarily miserable. Now, I'm going to try and support our T30. All these homies here. We're going to wait for the 263 to get spotted. Unfortunately, not quite able to pen that shot. But we do get one nice lower plate shot here. He fluffs his shell there. So it's in for the tracks. Boom. Another nice shot. He is almost one clip range. And now we can start cross-firing out this T-125 while we're at it. High explosive. We just might be able to do it. Boom. 362 into him. Perfect. And it looks like our Bashathion did commit the no live anymore because life is cruel act. So we're going to have to make do with some work here. T-124 is going to be my primary target for now. Now, we can see that this VK-72 is trying to crossfire me out, but I really want to kill this, this T-124. So, no! Is that the Waffenträger? Waffenträger being an absolute uncool lad there, putting a huge shot into me. We're going to have to back up just a little bit. Uh... Huh? I can't even concentrate on my gameplay. Please do not hate me, guys. Please... I can't even concentrate. I'm sorry. It's just... It's absolutely impossible for me to concentrate right now. Um... Good lord! Uh, <laughs> Ritz Cracker. Also, thanks for inspiring me to learn Russian. Spasibo. Ochin. Spasibo, brat. Oh! Ritz just dropped 500 into the tip jar. Mads didn't leave a tip. He left an entire month income right there for some people. Goodness, Ritz. I, uh, I lost track of everything, absolutely everything I was doing. Um, <laughs> I, uh, I'm speechless. I, I don't know how he can say thank you without even sounding like shallow and unappreciative. This is just insane. Like, can you even describe how to say thank you for this one? My gosh, Ritz. <sighs> Ritz has donated $700 today, guys. Shout out to Ritz, guys. Shout out to Ritz. Ritz, thank you so very much. I I really, whew, I really appreciate it. I'm, I'm blown away. What can I say? <laughs> gosh, I don't know what to say. Except that I don't know what to say. That is all that I can say at the moment. Goodness, dance for him on cam. Oh my lord. <laughs> Scott Nichols, thanks for everything you do, HF. Scott, thanks for the donation as well. Super appreciate it. Every donation is valued. Oh my goodness. How am I supposed to concentrate? I don't know. 
but we will have to make do. Oh, you guys are incredible. Well, happy Memorial Day. It, I, uh, Scott, I assume uh, if you are in the States, happy Memorial Day. And I hope you had a great weekend. <laughs> oh my goodness. Uh, and, and Ritz as well. Ritz, oh, Ritz. Ritz is on something else, guys. Goodness. How... How am I supposed to show gratitude to this type of stuff? It, it's it's very difficult. It's a great position to be in, but it's a very unique position. Ritz going full on Mr. Beast mode on today's stream. Man, man, oh man, oh man. I gotta keep playing the Progetto because that's what today's stream is about. But Rich, shout out to you. You're an absolute legend. Uh, and you need a legend roll. If you are on my Discord, DM me. I'll give you the legend roll. <laughs> I'll make it specifically for you because that that is crazy what you have done. So thank you so much. Anyways, looks like we are in a position of a bit of a split engagement here. There's a K91 on my right. And I, I am a little bit airheaded right now, guys. I, I'm sure you understand. I am I am an airhead. I can't concentrate. I don't think anyone could really concentrate through all through through this. So we're gonna get some nice early shots into this E75. And as for support, I have no one in the mid here with me. So we will have to keep an eye out on that during this fight. There was a wild E75 here. Let's put another shell towards them. Hitting a bit of an auto ricochet moment. So we're gonna focus. <sighs> we're gonna focus on our gameplay. Although I think Ritz has as as successfully completely shook me this stream. Like, uh, my concentration is no more. Also, I am completely by myself. We're gonna have to make a break for it. Let's put a quick shell into this dude and run away. So, my concentration has completely gone out the window, guys. And, uh, as I'm sure you can tell, I am not gonna be playing very well this game. As a matter of fact, your boy is probably very much dead here, as we're gonna be taking quite a few shots from these fools as we're trying to make our escape here. Oh, we managed to escape alive! Look at that! We are- we are alive! So, my entire team Five vehicles can't kill a single IS-7. Good old IS-7. The 183, though, is getting yolo so we have to do our best to show this man's... Uh, he's gonna be dead by the time I get to him. I am so sorry, 183. I appreciate the fact that you actually tried to help me, but if I stayed here with you, I'd be toast in no time. I only got 300 hit points, so I gotta run away from this. We'll let these dudes take the shots for us. As for me, we are going to just sit back behind our allies. So I'm, I'm just happy I got out of this situation alive. You know what? That's an accomplishment. I should have ran away sooner, but like I said, my brain is thoroughly turned to mush right now. No! Where'd that shot go? That is a bit unfortunate. So, Vickers is, um, yeah, being rather aggressive here. I don't think he wants to live. Let's put a quick shot through the side of his mantlet. Good stuff. Our IS-7 has also committed the I don't want to exist anymore, and therefore death is the best option route of uh, of life. We have the, the Vickers. Let's pick up a quick shot into him. Good stuff. That leaves Mr. Patton here. So, let's put a quick shot to Mr. Patton and pull back. Very good stuff as well. We're at 2,500 damage. <clears throat> Losing my voice already. Um... I'm gonna wait for these dudes to kind of keep things spotted and take some shots for me. I'll keep an eye out in case someone sneaks up up there. We know where the Waffenträger is, at least. Okay, we're gonna go a little bit to the right. Ah, the K91 went exactly where I anticipated he would go. <clears throat> but that's not so bad. He's fired once. He's been nuked once. He is now dead. Boom. Shakalaka. That's what we like to see. Waffenträger, though, he is full sending it straight into the mid here. Now, the E75 is a bit of a... Bit of a yikers player, so I'm not super worried about him. <clears throat> Let's focus on just picking up a quick kill shot onto this Waffenträger. We should have him on reload for a chill. 3,000 damage dealt this game. There we go! We've recovered! Oh, this game went from really bad to, you know what? I accept this. So, Waffenträger is, is going to be a nice little distraction there. I don't know if this dude is upgraded or not, but regardless, we're going to farm him out. So, no! My damage! No, don't you dare. Don't you dare! Kill the Waffenträger! Kill him, but don't take a shot! Give me my damage! You absolute legend, you! Now give me all of your remaining hit points. As a sacrifice. A an eternal sacrifice. Okay. Yes, this is perfect. He's not looking. One shot into the E75. Two shots into the E75. And we've got 4,000 damage out. Hey, There we go! So, we recovered! This game went from, like, really bad to actually pretty decent. Um... Thank heavens I managed to survive, and we got 4,300 or so damage out this battle. I'm very happy with that result, considering 
Yeah, considering I lost most of my hit points within the first couple of minutes that game. And just by relocating there, we managed to clutch up and help our team win this battle. I guarantee if I had died there, we would have lost that game. But just by using the Progetto as it is supposed to be used, a semi-passive, you know, support vehicle, and then pushing in the make to bring those tanks down and kill them late game, when your team needs you the most, that's how you're going to make the Progetto work. It doesn't matter if you're on 300 hit points or 1,000. You should always keep that in mind when you're playing this vehicle. Also, guys, let's reach that 200 like mark. I think we can do it. Smash that like button and let's make it happen. We are almost there. So, yes, by the end of this game, 200 likes guaranteed, okay? So they have M60, E50M, Vickers. Here's what I'm going to do. Okay, so I don't like taking the Progetto to the mid, although I don't really feel like fully committing into the C-cap either. What I'm going to do in this situation is we're going to go slightly under B-cap because we need someone to spot up, right? If you don't have anyone spotting, the enemy team are just going to be like, ha, 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 we're going to farm you for free. That's not great. So I'm going to spot this crossing here. We already know tanks are going up there. I can't really do anything about them. I don't have the best tank capabilities to to go up the mid in terms of turret armor i just want to see are they sending anyone into a cap and as you guys can see no one is in a so that tells me if i want to work this mid i'm actually in a fairly decent position to do so now e50m i don't think he knows i'm here yet now the 60 tp is very obviously going to make a play on the right side now m60 might take a shot from him m60 is doing a good job holding looks like the m60 as well on the enemy side has gone up towards the sea cap so that's good to keep in mind and we found the 183 so my one major concern mr 183 has now been spotted up we don't have to worry about him anymore and this is my opportunity to start dealing with these vehicles in the corner so let's see if we can put a quick shell into this e50m and back down very good stuff we have a vickers now this vickers is like yes i absolutely want to farm you shower den that's a great idea so I'm going to try and help our Sheridan, although our Sheridan has bounced twice here somehow. I don't know how he did it, but I want to do my best to try and keep our Sheridan in this game, if at all possible. So let's give this Vickers a little ram here. Perfect stuff. We can HE him in the side. Boom. 450 there as well. Let's wait from the HE another saw into his side. Boom. That's some good stuff. That's what we like to see. I'm just trying to farm out this Vickers as quickly as possible before this game is over. But unfortunately, we are now taking shots in the side from whoever is in C cap. So let's pull away from this Vickers here before he has a opportunity to hesh me he has a damaged amorak so we got him here there we go and we did a good job clearing out the vicar's light although we had to lose a ton of hit points for it although i was safe from any counter yolos because i have a 57 and an m60 with me I wasn't too, super worried about getting YOLO'd there. My primary goal was just getting rid of that Vicar's Light before he did more harm to my allies. Now, I believe what shot me... I'm not really sure who shot me from top. E50M just gets eradicated by the 183 for a stinking 1300 hash roll. RIP to that fool. Man's got deleted from the game. Here's the pan. Let's put a quick shot onto Mr. Patton. So I believe that's all the tanks spotted up. It was probably the yo that was shooting at me earlier in this battle. That's my theory, at least. E5 trying to run away. Let's wait till we have three shots loaded here. Let's wait till the 60 TP shoots, and then we'll make a counter pressure on him. 60 TP has just fired. We are safe to make a prey on him because he has no proper support. So one shell into the 60 TP. Let's take his tracks off. What's a second shell to Mr. 60 TB? Good stuff. 57. You just have to pen one shot, my dude. Well, he doesn't do it, but there we go. Nice, clean little kill on this dude. And it looks like the M60 is about to get hashed and yagged at the same time. They both mess up shooting HE at him. So more damage for me. 4,000 damage dealt so far this game. We need to make a play up the mid to provide some kind of cover fire for this Yag Panzer. And this is a very close game, but this is a more ideal kind of game for the Progetto in terms of well, let's just wait it out for the enemy team to make those mistakes and then... Okay, never mind. There's, like, absolutely nothing for me to wait for. These dudes are just killing themselves for free. So I'm going to try and keep this yo off of Mr. Yag here. Boom. Quick shot to him. He's fired once. Let's see if there's anything we can do about this M60 as well. Let's put a quick shot to him there. Good stuff. He has just fired his damaged Amorak. Let's aim another shell to his tracks just to keep him in place. We got to pull down now in case we die. Yag, you got this. I believe in you, mate. Good stuff, Yag. Okay, so full HP yo versus two one-shots. Yo should win this piece of cake. He's in a very ideal situation here. Let's wait till our camouflage resets, which I think it just just done so. Good stuff. And then we're going to start getting ready to hop into the B cap here before Mr. Yo has time to make any proper pressure plays. So Mr. Yo is trying to pull back a little bit. That's fine. Not quite able to hit him there. It is what it is. Let's put up a shot into his hatch and pull back. There we go. Every shot I hit at this point is essential to us having any kind of chance at winning this game. 
We're going to pull back. I'm just keeping this dude distracted. We have cap points because we have the double cap. He doesn't have the double cap. I'm going to load up heat because I want to guarantee every shot pens. Another shell into this M M6 yo here. And I think now is my opportunity to start trying to get on the cap. Hopefully, he doesn't sneak a, sneak a fast one on me. So, the goal here is to win. Sweaty game. Yagni's the hold position. I'm going to get the cap so we can win based off cap advantage. He's not going to want to push if we're both alive. So, really important that our Yag just holds and takes it easy for the start of this game. So, here is the M6 Yo. I'm sure he spotted me up there. The Progetto doesn't have the best camouflage, but at least we know his positioning. We have caps. We're in a strong position to win this game. I've already done 5,000 damage. Trust me, I would love to get 7,000 damage this game by making a hardcore pressure play on this dude, but that's probably just not a very wise idea. If we want any chance of winning this, I am the ticket for my team. So, here's the Yo. Yo's making a bit of a play here, potentially, and I'm going to sit in this position here because I can cover fire our Yag and use this rock as cover. So, let's wait for this M6 Yo to make a bit of a play here. Yo, looks like he might be considering it. I don't know if I can shoot him through these building structures. I can't. Well, let's wait to see if he makes a play. There's a minute and 30 seconds left. He has to make a pressure here. Boom. One shell into Mr. Yo. He might try shooting at me. Boom. At second shot. No way he hits that. No. Okay. We, we kind of lost this game then. That was my bad. I did not expect him to snap that. What, look at that angle. Oh, no. I done messed up. We were playing such a good game. No, I thought, okay, he's going for the Yag. I can sneak two shots into him. See, there is me just throwing after he had fired. No, no, Yag. No, Yag. How could you? Yag had the kill and Yag fluffed the kill. We both threw. We both suck. Confirmed we are bots. Uh, 6,000 damage. Ace tanker. Could have been 7K, honestly. Um, a really, really well played game until that final play. The final play that got me killed there uh, was a yikes. I didn't have to push there. There was no way he would win with that cap advantage. What was I doing? I was being a, a selfish damage farmer and that got me killed. I mean, that was a pretty lucky shot. Dude practically shot on turret rotation, but that's what the yo does for you. Uh, it's still my fault I got killed in the end because I was the one that stayed there poking him, but oh, I just didn't expect him to snap that off. That's so disappointing. That game had so much, so much potential. So the shot the yo hit on me was a bit, was a bit of a oof, unfortunate type of uh, a type of shot, as I was barely showing him any tank, and he like somehow hit the very corner of my lower plate there. Uh, the Yag fluffing his shot was a bit unfortunate because he didn't aim at all. He just like aimed center mass at the yo. If he just shot like a, a heat round at the yo's upper plate, we would have won that game. So oh well, it is what it is. We still had a very good game. Regardless, <clears throat> bit disappointing I wasn't able to clutch because, you know, I, I suck. But, oh well, that is in the past. Let's jump into another game. I'm going to take a very aggressive early spotting run. Now, this is a run that's a bit unfamiliar to people, but if they have tanks on cap, well, it's not supremacy. You can go up to there and get some early resets. It's super hilarious. You'll catch people off guard all the time. The 183 has already been spotted. Boom. Can't quite put a shell into him. I'm already spotted up by that 183, I am sure. But this 183 isn't my concern right now. My concern is like, hey, yo, Chieftain, let's give me some free damage here. So let's angle up our hull just a little bit. Boom. Quick shell into his hull there. Okay, not quite able to hit that one. Uh, the 183 shouldn't have shots on me just yet. Okay, so we are in a secure position here. If we just pull back, woohoo, 183 grazing the tips of my hair there and that leaves a conf panzer over here in this right hand side boom quick shot to you there's no way i'm still spotted right okay i'm totally still spotted i have a feeling all right e5 not quite all his shell into him what a three is practically dead i wasn't too too concerned about him as i had a feeling he was gonna die soon progetto's gun saying no bueno uh as you can see progetto's gun at long distance is not a very fun creature to deal with so it's aiming for the chieftain's lower plate boom a shot into him and pull down now, as we can see, Chieftain's isolated. Let's reload a full magazine and get ready to make the pressure play on this dude so we can pick up a kill on him. Let's put a quick shot to this Kampf Panzer, though. First, a uh, very nice snapshot. Actually hitting a snapshot on the Progetto. 1,300 damage dealt already this battle. And Mr. Chieftain is trying to make the big escape. So, I might take one here from him. It is what it is. We'll just do that. He is now dead, though, as a result. And we are in a very strong position to win this game. Although, they still have some pretty healthy heavy tanks and an M60. So, we will have to keep an eye out on that. Let's just pre-aim for Mr. I seven boom aim for a track shot not quite able to i kind of thought i was going to but apparently my aim wasn't as good as i expected and so is seven's getting farmed out e5 kampf panzer both seem distracted looks like here's my opportunity to reload an entire magazine we'll make a pressure play straight into the mid i think who's who's in the open m60 should go down first because he has the high dpm med let's load up an he for him boom what where did that shot go 
Boom. Okay, at least that one hit, at least, huh? What? No! It's a lie! It's a trap! You can't HE the M60's buttocks! Oh my goodness! I just wasted so much damage being an absolute muppet there. I deserve to be banned for this. Okay, let's put a quick shot to the side. Seven side. Booyah. Uh, 3,200 damage dealt. I think with one or two more shots, we can get just about 4,000 damage out this game. So let's try and make that happen. All right. Let's see if we can't nuke the Kampfpanzer before the one to one farms him out all the way. Come here. Yes, 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 yes. Kampfpanzer, give me the farm. Yes! And 60 TP bounces again. Let's go. All of the farm of the days. Come on, 4K, 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 4K. Yes! 4,000 damage dealt. Woo! So we are on fire in the Progetto today. 4,200 average damage, 14 games in. That's what we like to see. That's what we like to see. There we go. I'm telling you, how am I doing better today in the Progetto than I did in my Leopard stream? This is outrageous. 4,000 damage dealt. But like I said, I thought this tank sucked. I honestly thought this tank sucked for, for like quite a long time. Okay, quick story. Progetto was released. Was it like late 2019, early 2020? Something like that. Absolutely most broken tier 10 tank in the game. It was like the, the T100 LTN steroids in tier 10. Tank was insanely strong. Uh, and then Wargamer were like, well, that's not cool. So they nerfed every single characteristic on the tank, essentially. And after that, I just didn't play it because I had experienced the S tier Progetto. The Progetto in the best form it would ever be in. I would never get to experience that Progetto again, but over the years, the balanced Progetto has grown on me. And I've realized just because it's balanced doesn't mean it's actually a bad tank. You know, it's accuracy is something we have to accept about it. And it's slightly less DPM than it used to have and all that stuff, the less mobility. But it's still a very strong vehicle. And as you can see, we are performing quite well in it today, just giving ourselves into the right situation. So quick shell into this dude. Now I don't want to overpeak this because you know, oh my goodness, 54. What are you doing, you absolute mad lad here? 54 is like, yes, I want to be shot. So, they have triple TDs. Okay, Hori spotted, 1 to 1 spotted. We know where the 54 is. We don't know where the other tank destroyers are. So, I'm going to take it nice and easy for the start of this game. The reason being, your boy, he doesn't want to get essentially touched by all the tank destroyers. It is very much non-consensual if that happens. Oi! But we can definitely kill this 54 here. So let's see if we can put... Ooh, without overpeaking, without overpeaking. We have to watch out for those big, bad tank destroyers. And that 54 gets taken down. Okay, so the 183 Jagger up top. It means enemy team have absolutely no one down low. So we were just waiting for the enemy team to kind of <clears throat> display their positionings and where their tanks, tanks were. And after we had figured that out, we we're like, okay, well, here's where we get all of our good farms. So let's put a shell into this E50M. E50M is totally just sending it here. Another shell into E50M. If he continues to full send it here, he will have to deal with the full wrath of, of my allies. Another shell into E50M. Looks like there is now a Hori behind us. So let's pull forward just a little bit here, try and avoid his tank. Let's see if we can pick up a kill shot into him. Nice little high roll there. Good work, Mr. M6Yo, providing me the adequate support I needed. Let's wait for the motion to maybe shoot. And then we'll kill the 1-2-1. One -one. The 1-2-1 one -one should be our next mission. He is their high DPM med. So let's wait till we have at least two shots loaded up here. Good stuff. We're going to pull another shell to this 1-2-1. One -one. I'm sure the 62 I can finish him off because, you know, damage farmer Andy over here. And this game is already over. So I didn't get the farm much. The enemy team got absolutely slaughtered here, but still a very solid game in the Progetto. Still a good 3,000 damage dealt pretty easily there. And just, once again, waiting for the enemy team to get spotted in the open, doing something dumb, and taking all of the advantage of that scenario that's created. So we probably are going to get hashed by this dude, aren't we? <laughs> totally got it no way look where he hit the very edge of the cupola that is dumb i knew uh see the 183's gun is more accurate than the progetto's that's saying something that's more the progetto i'm used to where it's just like derping shots left right and center but um yeah the 183 didn't get so lucky on the 62a i don't really care that i died that game it was already over i was just hoping to sneak another shot or two in before it was over unfortunately the gun said no so uh let's go brandon <laughs> Good touch, then get a touch grass. Oh my gosh. Okay, well, we did get 1A3. He hit an extremely lucky shot into the very right corner of my cupola. Like, bruh. That is so uncool. Um, 1A3 moment, yeah. So apparently, I can't snapshot the 183's whole top half of his turret, but he can just snapshot the top of my hatch. I, I see how it is for gaming, you know? I, you gotta balance me out eventually. I, I see. Very disappointing. <laughs> I'm a little annoyed. I should have had like 3.5k damage that game. Urgh. 
238 likes. Let's go, guys. Smash that like button. Let's use that 300 like mark. I know we got it. You know we got it in us. Let's make it happen. This is where we need to fix the economy of Blitz. Um, grinding isn't nearly as painful as, as as tough as it used to be. 100% back in the day. Okay, we're talking. We're throwing way back. 15, 20, 15, 16 days. Every player had an IS-6 and probably a Lova and a T-34. Why? So you could spam those tanks and make hella credits to purchase your next tier 10 tank. The economy used to be so bad. I had like, so for the longest point, longest period of time, the IS-6 was the most played tank in my account. Not because it was good or anything, just because I had preferential matchmaking and it was ideal for farming credits. End of story. Uh, that is not the case anymore though, because as you guys know, we have the new economy in Blitz, which means premium tanks are almost pointless as pure credit grinders. So we get one nice shot into this Waffenträger. We'll get two nice shots into this Waffenträger. We also might get an opportunity to shoot this whole re in just a moment. I really like how this game is progressing so far. Let's aim for this whole re. Boom, Michelle into him. And the TI-5 looks like he's going to mid. So let's reload a full magazine, and then we'll get ready to shoot this TI-5 if he decides to progress forward enough. We'll use this rock as cover from the whole re. So let's wait to see if this TI-5 makes any kind of aggressive plays from here. Uh, if we can pick up a kill on him and then maybe start working down the Waffenträger and the Ho Re. We're about to reload three shells here, so let's make the best of our magazine. One shell... In why would you stop in the open? Almost one shot into the side of the Waffenträger. At least one shot into this dude. Waffenträger is looking at me, so let's pull back from that. And we're going to cap... We're going to cap C. So as you look at this match right now, my allies are doing a pretty atrocious job at staying alive or... Well, doing absolutely anything useful for the team. They're getting themselves killed left, right, and center, YOLOing all over the place. My best bet is now that we have a couple of caps, is to just farm out as much damage as possible. You can see Mr. 121 has been a little bit over aggressive. Unfortunately, Progetto, you know it's gun. It's gun hates you. And therefore, it's gun's gonna miss a lot of shots. So let's see if this Waffenträger provides me any shots. Maybe this TI5 will. TI5 in the open? No. Progetto gun also says, I don't like you. Let's put a quick shell into that Waffenträger as I'm feeling he's showing there. And it is two versus seven, ladies and gentlemen. Woo! That's what we like to see. Two versus seven. So, yeah. Allies are not doing so well. Um, can't quite spot up the t this dude. There is the Hori. There is the 2 and 5B. 2 and 5B should be my priority target. Oh, let's track the 1 to 1 in the open. Good stuff. Let's load a uh, heat shell up for him. Boom. Nice quick kill shot into him. Hori ricochets off me. Also good stuff for me. 2 and 5B is pulling forward. Let's track him as well. Also good. And we need to just continue pulling back from the Hori. Now, Waffenträger is going to lead them straight into me here. So we might take one from the Hori, but I really do have to make a break for it here. So let's run away just a little bit. All right, we might take one here. Might take a couple of shots here. Ooh, yeah, we are definitely taking a couple of shots here. All right, all right, all right. There's a T95. This dude goes down. Kampfpanzer is now a two shot. One shell to Kampfpanzer here. We have a TI5 behind us, and let's put a quick shell into this 57 as well. One ricochet from this fool. We also have the Hobri. There's the Waffenträger, and the Waffenträger is definitely going to think about shooting me here, but I did my best. Oh, man, that team was bad. Uh, there's really not much for me to say about it. They... They all sat in our spawn and died. Uh, I, I don't know how. They can all sit there and die. They are sitting on one of the most haul down maps in the game. So our Hori did zero. Our Chieftain did one shot. Our 405 did one shot. Our Yo did one shot. Our 55 did two shots. Only the Waffenträger managed to pull like four shots of damage out that game. With a team like that, it is darn near impossible to win unless you have the most perfect setup in the right type of tank. I didn't have the perfect setup. Honestly, what I should have done, relocate. After killing the one-to-one, -one, I should have immediately just dipped out of there and gone for A. Try capping A, see if I could kill the Waffenträger and the T95. If I managed to eliminate some of those guns, the gun did troll me for a few of those shots. Imagine the T95 was a one shot. I could have killed him pretty quickly there. The Waffenträger had taken a couple more shots there as well. If we managed to pick up some kills, that game was actually winnable in a Progetto because I had the mobility against the heavies. They didn't have any meds left. So while it was a good game, it wasn't quite good enough for me to get the dub because uh, the allies... They, they just died. I, I don't know how they died. I was farming a crossfire the whole battle, but they just couldn't hold out and spawn. So let's jump into the next game on Yamato. We're going to spot this crossing here right at the start. And the goal is to see if there's any kind of leopards or anything crossing. As you can see, we have not spotted them up just yet. So let's go to our spotting position number two. This is to see if anyone's going through the entrance of town, maybe. Interesting. That 
box is broken. Do you think their leopard yellowed through while I wasn't looking? Oh, we find the 183. Good stuff. So that's their one tank destroyer spotted. And you know what? If the 183 is spotted up there, there's the leopard. All right, leopard, pull forward just a little bit. I believe in you, buddy. Is that fake Pramo? That's fake Pramo. Okay, maybe he's a troll. All right, so not really much I can do here. Oh, so they did send a tank through there. I don't know what this dude thinks he's even doing in the middle of the map. And of course, he's just sitting there all game staring into Narnia. I hate it when players do that, but oh well. Let me see. I'm trying to figure out how I can farm this. The 183 is our biggest issue we have to worry about right now. Uh, I thought the TI2 got spot on my right. It was actually the VK72. A different two. Boom. One shell into the VK. Good stuff. Oh, there's there's the 183. Well, that's perfect for me. So now we have all of the crossfire in the world that we need to start annihilating these fools. So 183 is just full sending across the mid. We're going to stay here. I think this is probably the best position for a crossfire as we bounce off the rear of a Leopard 1. Why? Because Leopard 1 has OP armor, apparently. And and this is the gun I'm used to on the Progetto. Oh, this is the gun I'm used to on the Progetto. The derpy, never hits anything you're aiming at type of gun. This is the true Progetto experience as I remember it. We missed an entire clip on the side of these. Oh my goodness, the Canada one stops right in the open. And this is, uh, this is not going well. So there's still an opportunity to win this game. It's not looking great, but we still have quite a bit of hit points here. The 183 has at least killed himself, and it looks like the these tanks are kind of you know, a bit a bit isolated. Let's aim for this ST1, maybe. He is kind of looking my way. Let's wait till we have two shots loaded here. Boom. One shot to the ST1. Nice. We might be able to hit a second shot to his tank here. Boom. Two shots. He is now a three shot. I'm just shooting heat to guarantee the pen. At this point, he's a four shot regardless if I shot heat or AP. Let's guarantee the pens. That way, it's more likely we will kill him faster. So there's the VK. Uh, our poor, poor dude over here is has just been annihilated. And the reason I'm sticking back is I don't want to overextend myself in front of the VK, but we also have to kind of do something about this TI2 who is totally just like going to casually kill our poor E50M. So one shot to this dude. Let's pull away before the VK can shoot at me. Good stuff. And I'm going to start engaging this VK and e T92 E1. So TI2 E1 is pulling forward here just a little bit. Let's put a quick shot into his tank. I want to focus their mobile light tank. He's much more dangerous to me than, you know, their VK72. Although the VK72 is a dangerous target for me, Focusing out their medium lights is much more important than a single VK-72. So let's pull down into this ridge here. Here we go. This dude takes a shot from the Yag. Let's aim for maybe an Amarok on the side. One quick shell to this dude. There's the TI-2. Let's aim for him. Once again, like I said, I'm going to prioritize the TI-2. But no, the VK gets a shell into me. I didn't think he was going to pull forward there, but he totally goes for it. And it worked out in his favor. And so I'm going to have to just relocate at this point in time. And let's hope the TI-2 doesn't shoot at me. Please don't shoot at me, TI-2. I know he wants to. Okay. So he managed to maybe avoid the TI2 here. And we're going to see if we can maybe bait this VK into trying to shoot at me. Oh, oh my gosh. He hits the outside of my drive wheel. Because of course he does. Why wouldn't he hit the outside of my drive wheel there? And full pendant as well. All right. Let's aim fully. That's a joke, right? Okay. This dude doesn't realize how short my magazine reload time is per shot. That's where the auto reloader comes in handy. Good stuff. TI2 is still somewhere behind me, I believe, so I gotta watch out for him. We are about neck and neck and caps. Once I get unspotted, I'm just gonna relocate towards C to see if I can provide a bit of a crossfire uh, for this Yag before he gets YOLO'd and killed. All right, there's the TI2. TI2 is behind our Jaegeru. Jaeger is probably gonna go down soon here. So, oh boy, this is not good. My controls are also freezing up, as you can see. My movements are really stiff right now. No, controls! Why? Ah! I just, like collapse my iPad stand as well. Out of any time for my controls to freeze up, why does it have to be right there of all times? So now I don't even I don't even have time to get into position before this TI5 can get on cap. Oh man, that's unfortunate. Alright, let's see if this TI2 just pushes forward. We'll put a couple shots into him and kill him and then we'll go for the leopard. I don't have time to play cap right now. So let's just wait to see if we can make it happen. Pull forward, buddy. Do it. I know you want to. So I'm spotted there, I'm sure. Come on, do it. You don't have time. Oh, I don't have time. It's about to cap out anyways. Oh, well. Good game. The Yag... I don't know how the Yag got himself farmed out there. I should have played that better. No. That's so annoying. Oh, these teams are really bad to, uh, all of a sudden. I guess I had too much good farm, but now I got all the bad teams. Also, my controls froze up. My controls completely froze up before I even had time to get on C. I was trying to get there before the TI2 could so I could kill him, but then I couldn't drive. 
I hate this iPad screen sometimes. It's a 2020 iPad Pro, but sometimes it acts like it's like a, a second gen iPad. It's just like, bruh. <laughs> so unfortunately, not able to get the dub there. Still a solid game. Crazy Cat, thank you so much for the $50 donation. Super appreciate the support. I find it's nice to see you. Nice to see you as well, Crazy Cat. And uh, wow, thank you so much for the support. Really appreciate it, dude. Fantasy controls, hardcore nerfing him. Usually it's the connection, lol. For real, I should have been able to get that win easily. Um, firstly, can we all agree that shot the VK72 hit was so dumb? He somehow pens my hull and pens my left drive wheel while it was almost like vertical to him. Like he had to go through the smallest portion of my tank there. Uh, at a very steep angle. I didn't think he was going to go through at like that steep of an angle. So taking that shot from the VK is a bit unfortunate. I should have just YOLO'd him right off the bat instead of trying to focus on the TI2, but I really did want to kill the 92 first. And so let's see what our adversaries are for this battle. So they have a Progetto, they have a one one b they also have an Object 140. Quite a versatile medium team. We will keep that in mind. I'm going to spot up for now. But as you can see, no one's been spotted up. I think it's pretty evident their team is going B and A. So let's go to the second spotting position. This is a nice house I like to go to. Just to take a moment to see if the enemy team are here. And if it appears they are not, we go to the third position. Now this position is really important. Don't push straight into B cap because then you get counter yellowed and your life absolutely sucks. Instead, go to this hill with the rock, pull up onto this hill and you get nice kind of early spots on anyone back here. And we can see there's their M6Yo who probably spotted me up there. And there's their 183. So now we have free shots on the side of their 183. I take that back. Now we have an opportunity for the Progetto to show us its derpy gun once again. But we're going to take back B cap. The enemy team are just going around playing the whole cap game here. Oh my goodness. Wait, I thought the 183 fired, but really? There's a 268 just sitting here, apparently. Oh, my RNG is not being friends with me today. Of course, there's a 268 just sitting there unspotted, but we have the caps. The 183 is dead. That's the most important part there. So let's just wait. Very good stuff. Good stuff. Be my, my man's out here getting some good farming. Let's put a quick shell into this Progetto. Hey, we actually had a snapshot. Now, the 121 and Yo are pushing into the mid. I'm going to prioritize them because they're the ones that are going to be flanking me soon. These dudes are all kind of dug in. Not really much I can do about them. Let's wait till we have like two, maybe even three shots loaded in. This Chieftain's going to die regardless, I think. Uh, unless the 268, of course, delivers a high explosive shell up Zabute. Nice. One shell into the Yo, and now we're in a position to make him a one-shot for our Chief, or at least the 268, if not the Chief. Boom. Another shell into the Yo. Another shot. Perfect stuff. Chieftain 268. Probably done messed up a little bit there. I don't think he's going to be able to pick up. Oh, he actually picks up the kill. Impressive. So the one two ones out of the our league. The one eight three is preaming down that right alley. The one two one's probably going to go up to here. No, we have a 183. He's going to drop in through mid, isn't he? All right. Let's preem for the 183. Let's load three shots up here. And let's hope this dude doesn't get, like, super lucky RNG, like 183s often do. All right, we're going to bait him into thinking I'm pulling forward, but he's not quite biting the bait there. Our 183 is still in the corner. I'm sure the 1 one's here. If he goes there, the 183 will nuke him, so I'm not worried about him flanking me just yet. But it looks like the 140 is being quite aggressive. So let's push up a little bit to the right here. And here's where their other 183 is. Let's put a quick track shot into his tank there. Boom, and the E100 has the kill. Easy stuff. Got the C100. Never mind. D100 fluffed his kill shot, but we can pick up the kill shot instead. Boom. Hey, we're going to get the dub. Finally, we're not throwing a game and we're not losing a game. This is good news because we've been losing way too many games recently in the Progetto. H into the back of the turret. Very good stuff. We should be able to pull out about 4,000 plus damage this game. Very solid result for Zuguro Progetto. And let's see. Mr. Sheridan hits a good shell there. Let's wait till we have at least two shots reloaded in the magazine before we make a full pressure on this fool. We're going to load one H into the rear of his turret. 420. <laughs> and then let's load another H to him for a kill. That's why I waited for two shots to be available before making my play on, oh, this dude's about to be toast. Like, a real Frenchy toast. Well, maybe not a French toast, but German toast. Oh, yep, he has German toast. And we pick up a nice kill on him. Good stuff. There we go. Getting a dub, about 40, 4,700 or so damage dealt. I don't know if we got any fires in that game. I don't quite remember, but solid amount of damage, 4,600 a first class, finally breaking the monotonous losing streak we had. Uh, we weren't winning a lot, but our average is still very good today in the Progetto. Hello, Fanis. I will not be stream sniping today. Potato, what is up? Welcome to the stream. 277 likes. Let's go, guys. The only reliable turret in a med is the T22. T22 is the only invincible turret in the game. I swear there is not a single frontal weak spot on that turret. It's crazy good. It's, it's, it's hard to even compare to heavy tank standards. There isn't even, like, cheeks on that tank. Like, what? So, yeah. I would say T22 definitely wins that battle. 
but Progetto can still get his troll bounces. It's not really about the turret. It's kind of similar to the Object 140. What you want to do with your Progetto is be like, hey guys, you see, I got a very like fat haul. You should totally try shooting it. And then once you bait them into shooting at your haul, I think here might be a good opportunity for me to take the bridge. Perfect. We're going to wait till they backed out. Just enough to give me some nice bridge uh, control here. There is also a Gorilla 15. Boom. One shell into him. He won't be able to stay up there super aggressive for very long. Let's aim for a drive wheel shot maybe. Another shell into the grill. Good stuff. I'm just going to farm out this grill because he's more dangerous. Another shell into the Kampfpanzer. And we do have a 1 to 1B here who is he's, uh, he's very lost. Oh my goodness. But someone else is lost too. I don't know who just took a shot to the face, but our whole team is is fairly lost here. So it's me and the Object 84 and the Bat Shot versus the 200 LT and whoever, whoever the heck these guys are, uh, they're just chilling here. But my allies are going to create a crossfire on the flank soon. Let's well, like to our magazines reloaded before we commit to any plays. Looks like the Vickers is about to go down, which is great news for me. And this 1 to 1B might be providing me with a nice shot here. Boom, right into the weak spot on this turret. And that leaves Mr. 1A3 here, who obviously we don't want to get 1A3. So let's put a quick shot to him. And I think the 57 should be my goal. I don't think we're going to win this fight anymore. Not with that many tanks there. But this 1 to 1 is definitely kind of in the open here. So let's put another shell towards him. The gun says, no, thank you. I understand. But we are getting some good farm this battle. All the same, we are getting some very solid farm out here. Boom, let's get another shell into this 57 before he gets taken out. We are 1A3 safe. And let's just dive bomb for the 1 to 1 who looks like he's dropping through the middle of the map here. So let's get ready to, to send him... A, a good old Italian greeting. Yoink. I can't speak Italian. Mamma mia. That's what I imagine he just said as he bounces off the complete rear of a 121B. Okay, so cover fire. Yeah, got plenty of alleys. Not super worried about getting just like YOLO'd and YOD'ed here. Uh, that rhymed. Boom. Quick shout to T-Word LT. Just showing him who's boss. These are warning shots, t -word LT. These are just warning shots, okay? Make sure we're 183 safe. We are indeed 183 safe. t -word LT is like, no, no you, sir. No you, t -word LT. You're time to die. I ran out of gun depression. t -word LT, you are dead regardless. Ha, okay. Well, I might not have been the one to kill him, but at least he is dead. Uh, we got decent farm this game. We should have had probably about 4,000 if I wasn't a Muppet so much. But, you know, eh, 3,700, 3,600, still a very good amount of damage. Uh, so, I'll be happy with that. 292 likes. A hey, full send, guys. 3,600. Yeah, just about 3,700 or so. I should have had 4K. I, I suck at suiting. Sh suiting? Yes, I suck at suiting, guys. I suck at shooting. Persuk, <laughs> privet. Um, biz spam. Biz spam. Ladna? <laughs> Uh, okay, well, I really fucked a lot of shots that game, didn't I, guys? That was... That wasn't ideal. Also, my hair has, like, this weird, like, curl to it today. <gasps> Bobby, What's up, girl? By the way, Fatus, is it worth grinding the Vickers? I think it is. Vickers is always a good tank. Uh, I'm just really enjoying the Progetto today. Honest, I'm honest with you guys. I thought this tank was meh. Until today, and for some reason, I was just like, actually, this tank isn't so bad. Maybe it's because I've become bored with practically every tier 10 I have. Where I got to the point where I was just like, I'm just going to play the Progetto. And then it turned out to be a really interesting experience for me. New experiences are rare for the His Royal Fatness in What Blitz. Okay, so I don't know where their light tanks are or their tank destroyers. We're going to take it a little easy as a result. We have a 260 here, but, you know, as you can see, yeah, 260 gun says no. I don't... I don't of course. Of course the T-Ordered LT is redlining in the back of the map. And yes, of course they have a 183 just straight up YOLOing in. So let's wait for this fool and prepare to nuke him once the 57 takes some shots from Mr. 183. So this was quite an interesting experience. Boom, one track shot to the 183. 57 has retracked the 183. Let's put another track shot to him. Boom, 57 has him with a fire. 121 is, is potentially going to poke me again. Well, I'm glad I didn't YOLO forward because that 183 would have shalom to me, but uh, that is not the case. I think we can now start making a pressure towards this 121. The T1LT might be covering him or he might be running away, but obviously the enemy team are winning, winning that right side engagement. So we got to pressure Mr. 121 here to make sure we can kill his tank out pretty. Oh, hey, hey I take that back. Hey, we should focus the 268 actually. He's the most dangerous tank here if left, left, left unharmed. There we go. Good stuff. There we go. Track shot. Oh, 57. You're goaded. 57, pick up that kill. Nice stuff, 57. I appreciate Mr. 57. Mr. 57 do be hitting those. Boop. Let's push on to the 200 LT as well. 
dod dodging this dude. We're just going to keep working this corner. I think I can't quite pressure those dudes until the 57 is loaded. So let's just start farming these dudes up the rear because they are in the open and why not? So 60 TP and object 260 are are just, uh, they're getting lost. They're, these poor dudes, they have no clue what they're doing. So let's put another shell to this fool. Looks like the 57 Heavy has just put a full clip into the 121. 200 LT is kind of out of the vicinity to shoot at me, and here's our opportunity to say goodbye, Mr. 121, with a fire. Goodbye. All right, P2121, Progetto doing its thing. You can see how nice and comfortable this auto reloader is performing. Uh, I knew it! I was looking, I was like, you know what? Someone isn't spotted. Maybe he's just sitting in Narnia. Of course he's sitting in Narnia. Who wouldn't spawn snipe in an Object 268 version 4? That would just be absurd to not spawn snipe in an Object 268 version 4. Isn't that right, guys? My man's actually spawn sniping in his V4. One of the most heavily armored tier to tank destroyers. And he's sitting in the back, just chilling, because we all know the V4 has S-tier accuracy. Ain't that right, boys? Oh, man. Let's wait for this V4 to go so I can get my last clip of damage off. All right, well, your turret roof did be kind of looking juicy, my dude. One quick shell there. One quick shell there. And he's dead. So we got 3,700 damage out. Not a bad game. Once more with the fire, probably about 3,800. Progetto gets a lot of fires, doesn't it? We've been getting fires galore. We're probably going to drop out of 4K soon, but 20 games, 4K, and a tank that I considered bad just yesterday? Yes, I am very happy with this indeed. That's the legendary camo we're going to need to make. The Bobby camo, LOL. I agree. Bobby camo would, would, would end world poverty because everyone would, would be willing to, to work and to buy it and and the uh, markets would go out. It'd be great. Disclaimer, Bobby Camouflage would not actually end world poverty, and this is in fact a joke. Don't go holding it against me, guys. Okay, so let's see. M60, 200 LT, TP41 versus me, and a 121B. So they have a numerical advantage. They also have a DPM advantage. I will want to be careful over to not overextend myself here. Quick shot to the 54 though, right off the bat. Put another track shot into him just to show him who's the boss and maybe even an Amorak into him. Boom, three shots into this full. M60 does shoot me, but getting a early clip off into that 54 one was so essential because our numerical disadvantage has now become much less severe, especially with Monsieur 121 and Mr. Chieftain coming up to support us. So let's see. Waffenträger is in town. We don't have to worry about Waffenträger. Let's use this opportunity to pick up a kill on Mr. 54E1. So let's aim for a track shot on this fool. One quick shot to 54E1 here. Boom, second shot to 54E1. We're going to kill him because it's important. And look at me, Fatness actually picking up kills. This is unheard of. But when you are in these kind of mm, close quarters, do the brawling style engagements, you do want to make sure you pick up those kills. I only don't do it if we're like easily winning and I just want damage because you know me, I'm a damage farmer. So let's get ready to put some shots into this 200 LT. Um, hopefully the Chieftain stops blocking me soon. Uh, okay, Chieftain Mark 6. You, uh, you know what, Chieftain? You do you. I'm just going to put some shots into this M60 here. One shot to Mr. M60. Let's put a second shot into Mr. M60. Let's pull back, hopefully, before he shoots me. He does, but we've already done like 3,000 damage. Your boy is not is not mad about that. We, we already reached almost the damage quota for the day. So, it looks like Badger is deep in town. 60 TP is deep in town. I think their whole team is deep. <laughs> deep in town. Uh, let's use this opportunity to go for a little flanky flank action and hopefully farm out one of these fools. Now I'm hoping the Waffenträger just fired I believe, right? Waffenträger would be kind of a be kind of a juicy snack here. But E100 showed me field tank so let's put a quick shot to this dude. Uh, I believe he just fired not long ago so let's put a quick shot to him there. We'll let the one to one take the next shot from him. Come on one to one. We don't have time to dilly dally here. We need, okay, 60 TP might be coming back for us maybe. I'm trying to see the 60 TP's action. And if he goes for us, I'll just hide behind this wall. We'll let the one to one tank all the shots for us. <laughs> Get it, tank? Because he's in a tank. And uh, I, I'm just full of great comments tonight, aren't I? All right, we'll wait for Mr. 60 Tipe to make a mistake here. Mr. 60 Tipe has just made a mistake. Shalom, brother. Let's pick up a quick kill on him. And that leaves Mr. Waffenträger and E100. We have done 3,800 damage. Our damage farming ways have been a success so far. Boom. Quick kill shot to this fool as well. That just leaves Mr. E100. No shot to you. That's 4,000 damage dealt right there. Boom. No shot to lower plate. That's 4,700 damage dealt right there. Let's wait and see if maybe we can even pick up another, maybe a kill shot on this fool. Uh, maybe, maybe, just maybe. Ah, oh, this one to one. I don't know why you're putting forward. You blocked me. Not a bad game. 4,800 damage. Woo! Let's put my average back up to maybe 4.1. 4.09. Hey, 4.1. Hey, let's go. 
Yeah, we are averaging well in the ones who in the Progetto today. This is exciting stuff. 4,732 average. Well, I wish that was my average, but still great damage. Ah, 300 likes. Thank you very much, guys. Super appreciate it as old hiccups, as always. Hey, Fennis from Japan. <laughs> uh, Ohio? Ohio? <laughs> uh, where is Daniel? Did he get banned? I don't know what happened to Daniel, but I was watching back the stream from the, from the other day. And I was like... I really did go hard on Daniel, didn't I? I, I hope Daniel's okay. Because I didn't hold anything back uh, when I was talking about Daniel there. Mind you, Daniel had it coming. But still, let's hope Daniel's fine. Pray for Daniel, guys. All right, look like we got some good early spotting up at the start of this battle. Let's pull, pull back, though, before we take any shots here. But this is a very good situation for me. Mr. 57, give me some free shots here, maybe. Boom. So not quite free, but still a good shot to take. I'm just going to keep spotting up this crossing here. I have a lot of allies behind me. If they do continue to pull through, let's say, for instance, Mr. 57, we can just preempt a shot in towards him. Of course, this gun says, no, thank you. Oh, my gosh. Of course, he hits that. Uh, we actually blood way too much hit points at the start of this game. I don't know why they're just sitting in the most like open positions, letting themselves get farmed, but whatever. I guess we just accept that that's their, their plan of action. So 62 ice pushes you up down low, it seems. Our whole team's in town. Oh, my screen just got like really bright all of a sudden after being really dark for the last minute. That's weird. All right. So Mr. 57's in the open. Let's put one shell into him. A little bit of uh, sweet revenge on 57 here. Two shots into him. I was just waiting for the ST1 to maybe get a little distracted there before making an actual play. Good stuff. 62A looks like he's a bit eager to, to just like full send it here at this point. Let's put a track shell into him. Keeping him in place. No, I thought I had two shots loaded. I might have done my stuff there a little bit. Woo, let's give him that steep upper plate. Boom, kill shot. No, someone stole my kill shot. This game is, this game is uncool. This game is so uncool because I should have days of farm and I have, like, no farm so far. This is obviously a skill issue and nothing else, go. Alright, there's Mr. 183. Let's see if he pulls forward a little bit. Boom, one shot to 183 there. Emil is also trying to shoot at me. Ain't that cute? We got 2,000 spotting damage so far this battle. That's actually not too shabby. So, 2k spotting. We are ready to pull forward if Mr. 183 gets any bright ideas and decides to pull in on me. Um, I should probably be a little bit more cautious, actually. I don't want to get myself yoinked by Mr. 183 there. We know the SD1 is still in the vicinity here. Oh, he's just pre-aiming, apparently. I don't want to take any more shots because I am now a two-shot to all of their heavy tanks. And obviously, taking some shots would be not so ideal. Although, we do have a ton of spotting already. With almost 3,000 spotting damage so far this battle. Let's see if Mr. SD1 makes a play here. He just might. I'll pull forward just a wee bit more, my dude. Make it happen. I believe in you. Boom. Nice shell into the side of the ST1 there. Perfect stuff. Waffenträger's gone back, so he should be able to keep an eye on the 183 for me, I believe. Let's use this rock as a little bit of hard cover here and start farming out this Emil. So one shell into this Emil. We bounced 400, which I believe was from the ST1. Oh my gosh, this is the 57. I don't know where he's shooting the bounce off me, but uh, good stuff. 2,900 spotting so far. 57 goes down. That's what we like to see. 183 is actually their healthiest tank now. Mr. Emil is probably going to give me a shot here in just a moment. Let's wait till we have three shots loaded. I should be unspotted by now, right? Let's wait till he gives me a nice clean side shot. If not, we'll just load up some heat shells for this fool. Boom. One heat shell to this dude. He is not having it. We have some decent farm so far this game. And let's just YOLO in and get some last minute farm out before this game is over. Let's just hope the 183 is looking at the Waffenträger and not me. That's the dream. And that way we can get some Omega farm out this battle before it's over. So there we go. Mr. 183, boom. Get another shell to him. We got 3,500. Honestly, not the cleanest game by me. I wasn't really sure where to go. I wanted to stay in mid so I could continue to farm up the enemy team and keep them spotted. As you can see, 3,000 spotting damage. So I did a ton of work for my team there. Maybe not so much in the sense of dishing the damage, but just keeping the enemy team permanently spotted. And that allowed all of my allies to just casually farm them out, which worked really well. So... Even though that position wasn't really perfect for farming damage, because all of their heavies are kind of hauled down from my perspective. It was still really important because I managed to keep their whole team spotted there. Uh, that's why I didn't want to leave per se, even though I probably could have just gotten unspotted and gone to some weird flank and like mega farms like an absolute boss, which would have been more fun realistically. But I, I saw a value in that position, which is why I didn't left, which is why I didn't leave there. So E50M versus just me and well, we have a leopard, but he's not coming to support us. They have an E50 and an E50M and a 5041. So two tier nines and of course a tier 10 E50M. Let's put a quick shell into him. I believe he did spot me up there. So it is what it is. I don't really know if he's spotted me or if he was just taking a random blind shot but in the end every shot he takes 
versus me is always good for the team. So I'm going to run away from here. As you can see, we don't have much support. I wanted some support, but yeah, support not ideal. Let's put a quick blind shot because the 50s there. We're going to go clear up top because my allies are not here to support me. Uh, that's not great. We, we want allies to support us so, so they can take the shots for us. How high did that E50M roll? 396, I believe? Ugh, what a high roll. That's annoying. He shaved off a huge chunk of my HP there. There we go. I'm so happy I left when I did. That crown wagon is just chilling. He's like, I want to come up on the flank and farm some damage. And I'm like, no, you don't. Okay. Let's think about this. This E3 is about to become history. He's not an E3, but he's history. <laughs> Kron, I don't believe, has spotted me just yet. E50M is being a little bit aggressive here. Kron might have just spotted me. I was trying to stay unspotted. So the issue is this whole re is going to create a crossfire. I can't farm the Kron from the right side as a result. I really wish I could. Oh my goodness. But nope, that's not the case. Let's see. If this dude gets a little bit more bold, we might be able to put another track shot to him. Using this hall as an auto ricochet zone. Boom, another shell to him. Let's pull back from that whole re. Good stuff. And let's just try and pull back from any kind of major crossfires here. And so it looks like Mr. E50M is being a little bit aggressive. Mr. Mr. Motion's getting in my way, so I can't back up fast enough. My whole team is kind of out of this fight here. And okay, so that's not great. That's not great at all. Okay. Let's see if we can bait. Oh, come on, team. I should have pulled out faster. I don't know what these dudes are doing. Oh, Leopard. You could... Leopard, if you pull forward, you could farm the Kron out. This Leopard could be doing a lot better here. He's not maximizing his deep. I don't know why the whole team just ditched into their spawn instead of just turning around and holding. Um... We could have held mid so much better from the positions we had versus over here. But I think they'll be able to clutch up. Our first kind of not so good game in the Progetto. I didn't expect the E50 to be in our spawn. If the E50 wasn't there, it would have been fine. I would have been in a perfectly suitable position to hold. But the E50 kind of caught me off guard and I wasn't able to quite get behind the building in time there. I was trying, but couldn't quite do it. We should get the dub though, at least. They kind of committed a lot of tanks onto our spawn there, which is fine. Because me and the Moishin managed to prevent them from just YOLOing straight through successfully. So we will win this because of because we managed to hold them off. But it wasn't really a great game in terms of damage farming. So RIP to the damage, boys. Easier for Shanghai <laughs> Shanghainese to learn Japanese. Uh yeah. <laughs> 1700 damage. That might be our lowest damage game of the night in the Progetto. Dropping us below 4,000 average damage for the session, but we're still doing pretty decent. It could be much worse. <laughs> Alright, I'm sorry guys, by the way. I've been doing a pretty lousy job keeping up with chat. Although, 320 likes, let's go. Let's reach that 400 likes so we can reach that 420 like mark. Let's make it happen because, you know, epicness. Should have pulled out faster. <laughs> hey, yo. Concept aim is so painful. Concept aim isn't that bad. Okay, let's jump into another game. Almost 80% win rate, 3,980 average. We can get back to 4K, no problem. They do have some medium lights, and do I have support? Just a Yag. So let's go for the early spotting run, but I'm not going to commit. If I commit now, that could spell the end of me. There's the Leopard. There's the 60 TP. We don't know where the Yag is. As I only have a Yag for support, I want to be like, homie, we can't really pull this off. Although... Sheridan Leopard, L looking at their, their tank's positioning here, boom, ah, can't quite snap that. If this Yag stays for support, I believe their team is actually mega split up here. Oh no, they have an E50M as well. So Leopard, E50M, and Yag, or and Sheridan, that might not be so good for me. Let's see what happens. Leopard's coming in hot. Nice. Yag will provide the support I need here. And let's get ready to deal with this Leopard one. So Leopard is just like coming in super hot here. I don't believe he'll have enough gun depression to really nuke me. Unless I overextend here. Boom. Another shell into this dude. Let's pre aim in case Mr. Sheridan gets any bright ideas. Oh, sure, he hits that. He didn't even take time to aim that stuff. Nice meme. All right. Let's see. Yag still providing cover fire. E50M is just trying to full send it, but that's going to be his mistake here because he's going to die for that. So let's put another shell into this fool. Quick kill Sean to him. Get a ricochet. Good job. Me and the Yager holding here very nicely. For Sheridan is just trying to full send it on my left side here, but that's not going to work out so well for him because even if he full sends it, Mr. Yag is here to nuke him in return. So Mr. Sheridan does end up getting himself nuked. Just give him a little love tap just to make him a one shot for me. Boom. Kill Sean to him. Now we can back up from this leopard, getting a ricochet there. Yeah, me and this Yag did a really good job. We pretty much held off three tier 10 beds all by ourselves. So kudos to this Yag. He played it well, provided adequate support for the battle. 
I appreciate that. Let's put an HE into this dude's side. Good stuff. Maybe another AP shell into his turret in just a moment. I'll wait for my shots to start reloading so he doesn't just yell at me and kill me here. Mr. Leopard is just backing up, uh, probably so Yeageru can just kill him. So let's 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 pray that he low rolls me. Boom, one quick shell to him there. He misses, fluffs his shot. Boom, good stuff. Another shell to his side. Let's load up a high explosive shell. Boom. Excellent game in the Progetto. Me and this Yag did a phenomenal job together there. I decided to push up so they wouldn't be able to sneak up and create a crossfire, and that way I could keep the enemy team permanently kind of med spotted and engaged while all our Yag had to do was sit back and hit a few shots, and that's precisely what he did. I didn't really get a chance to farm the heavy tanks. In retrospect, yes, I would have farmed probably much more damage if I had just YOLO to the heavy side and free farm their heavies. That's probably the better option if you want damage. However, I was also under the thought process that I wanted to try and encourage our team to win. And if I just abandoned our Yag all by himself and left their meds free to just free farm our entire flank, then there was a pretty significant chance we would lose that battle, which would not be ideal. That's why I decided, you know what? We're just gonna, we're gonna take a chill. We're gonna go and try and hold off the mediums for as long as possible and just trust that our heavy tanks are gonna do an adequate job in the flank. And it went, it went perfect. Wasn't really most ideal for damage farming, but it was still a good game all the same. So Mr. Progetto gets spotted going up to the corner here. And uh, Mr. Progetto just shows why you don't do that in the Progetto or else you get ding-donged on by 183s with Hash. So Sheridan being a little bit more aggressive than I expected. Ooh, Progetto, boom, showing why I am the boss in the Progetto. No, I'm not the boss in the Progetto. I was just joking. <laughs> I almost got 704. That would have sucked. Okay, can this Progetto die already? Oh, 422. Thank heavens. You finally decided to full send it on this dude. All right, quick shell into this Sheridan here. We're going to do a good job holding, I think. We're chilling here. We're chilling. The 704 is going to give me a nice free shot here in just a moment as well. This is almost 2,000 damage dealt. I'm kind of surprised how easy it is to get damage off in the in the Progetto right at the start of a game. I guess that makes sense with autoloaders. You can get that really fast early damage farm. And then from there, that's where you make a lot of your progress. So we've done pretty good so far this game. Let's put another shell into the 704. I think that one pens. We are probably going to lose our spawn. It is just an ST1 and a 704. But in return, we will definitely be winning over this side, uh, the enemy's spawn. So I think I'm gonna go back and see if I can create some kind of defense in our own spawn. If this 57 and 60 TP decide they wanna get aggressive, boom. Let's put a quick shot into the 60 TP here. 60 TP is just full sending it, boom. Another shell to the back of his turret. Looks like the Sheridan's also relocating and I, I don't know, the E4 is still just holding back there. But we've done a pretty good job so far. Let's put another shell into the 60 TP, just using the auto loader. And I'm pretty happy with how I've positioned myself so far this game. Really in ideal positions to damage farm. And I'm not too worried about my right side because you know, 183. And the 183 does what the 183 does. Makes your life absolutely miserable. So let's see if Mr. Sheridan gets a little confident here and wants wants to test his luck -o. So Mr. Sheridan is not trying to test his luck, but it looks like Mr. M103 is, so put a quick shot to this dude. Looks like Mr. 60TP is pulling forward, which damages Amorak there. Unless the Sheridan high rolls me, I should be chilling from this dude. And let's see if we can do anything about Mr. M103 as well. Boom, quick shot to Mr. M103. It's pulled back, maintaining our angles, maintaining our angles, staying low. And this way, if these fools get any kind of bright ideas about, you know, maybe YOLOing me or something, I can just pull down into safety here. So Mr. M103 might get some bright ideas here soon. Let's put a quick kill shot towards them. Uh, as you can see, RNG said, no, no you. No you. M103 gets taken out. Good stuff. Ooh, Sheridan has just fired and he is now down to two shotable. So let's see if there's anything we can do about Mr. Sheridan. Ooh, Sheridan has sped. This dude has the sped reaction. Okay. Uh, Mr. Shaladon. You rock him, Sheridan. Boom. One shell to Sheridan. Just just under 5,000 damage dealt so far this game. Boom. Oh, perfectly aimed. The only issue was we were a little bit lacking there on the shot of velocity, and the shot went just a little bit high. Still a good shot though, regardless. And Sheridan goes down. So just under 5,000 damage. There we go, doing a little damage recovery. That was a pretty chill game. I didn't have to do much, to be honest. Hey, Fantas, do you have any tips for staying, staying motivated to stock grind tanks? Just imagine how nice it'll be once you finally get that fully upgraded tier 10. That's really the best option. Otherwise, you just gotta grit your teeth and get through it. I remember those days. I don't have to do stock grinds anymore because I've accumulated so much experience and credits. Uh, on this account, but I, I promise you, I do remember 
the pains, the trials and the tribulations of not having enough credits, not having enough for XP and just like doing stock grinds all the time. They were not fun days. So I do wish you the best of luck. Although it's a lot easier nowadays than it used to be because of like times five multipliers and stuff like that. Back then, you would get like times five XP once a year. And it was only like, you know, just, just like an X2 regular multiplier, but you just got on all your tanks like once a year. And that was like for like New Year's or, or, or Blitz birthday or stuff like that. It was like, woo, we got so much XP. And you would like play all of your tanks to try and accumulate as much free XP as possible because free XP was super hard to come by. Ah, oh, man, this is this is really bringing me back into the olden days. Oh, hello, Waffenträger. Please don't hit that. So it looks like they have a bunch of TDs just chilling here, which is kind of cute. Um, you know, I have a plan. And the plan is plan E100, bait a shot out of the E100, and then boom. Shot into the E100's tracks, number one. Shot into the E100's lower plate, number one. Shot into the E100's lower plate, number two. Mr. E100's tunneling me, but we're creating quite the nice diversion here as he loses the majority of his hit points. Mission accomplished, I dare say. And here's where you can just YOLO into town. They have an E4 and all those dudes back here. I think I'd like to farm the M103 out. He seems pretty isolated in this situation. So let's wait till we load up three shells. And one, two, a one, two, three. And we totally fluffed it because we suck. Yep, we absolutely suck. Absolutely suck. Pop one shell into this dude. Boom, he gets taken out. Mr. E4 is over here on our left. Let's see if we can aim in a shell onto him at all. He just sh shot, so I'm gonna wait till I have two shots loaded up here. Boom, one shot. And then we should still be able to out reload him here with the track shot. Perfect track shot. Now, if he wants to push into me, he has to push into our E3 and all these homies over here. So, chilling, chilling. Not quite looking at me just yet. Maybe the Amarak. Boom. Another track shot. Keeping him in place. 2,300 damage dealt. We're doing a good job providing support here. We know there's an E5 on our right side. We will keep an eye out on him. And our teammates are actually causing some difficulties here. They're, they're having some difficulties. Well, they are causing difficulties by having difficulties. That's the best way of putting it. Boom. Quick shelter resisted. Not quite able to hit him. Waffenträger has just fired. He's not running a spall liner, but we fluffed our shot, unfortunately. Mr. E4 needs to go down. So let's wait for Mr. E4 to shoot. And once he does, we'll, we'll put some shots into his lower plate here. Boom. Take one from the bat trap, but that's no concern. Very good stuff. E4 goes down. Mr. E5 looks like he's like, ooh, projecto. Nope. Mr. E5 is shooting at someone else. Good stuff. Okay. So Waffenträger is roughly a two shot here. Although he is just yellowing across. Boom. Nice H to him there. We should go kill the Waffenträger. Then we'll go deal with the E5 and all those dudes. So, Mr. Waffenträger stuck in the open. Let's put a quick kill shot onto him. <gasps> 274! I didn't shoot HG because I'm like, I don't want to mess it up. And I rolled 274 with an AP kill shot. That is what we call big time unfortunate. Put a shot onto this 35. We're going to get some good farm out this game. I, I have a feeling we are going to get some good good old farm. So let's aim for a track shot here. Boom. Angle around the corner. That's the value of knowing how to hit those clutch track shots. Just pre-aim where the drive is going to be and bot them out of existence. So now, where is that pesky little bat trap? There's the pesky little... Oh, bat trap, why? I wanted to farm you. Why couldn't you just let me farm you? Oh, yes. Perfect. Let me farm you. No! I wanted 6-3 damage. How dare you, bat trap? <sighs> Okay, let's see how we did. 5,000 damage. It could have been 6k if the Batcha didn't suicide into a Yag. Boo-hoo. Still, we're back at 4,000 average, 80% win rate. Hey, let's go. Yo, Progetto. See, I'm telling you guys. Yes, the Progetto does have its issues. It's dispersion. It's turret armor isn't all that great. It's DPM can be inconsistent, but otherwise, it's actually a very good tank. I... Yeah, I still think it's crazy that I thought this tank sucked, but it's actually a very solid performer. I wouldn't say it's the strongest med out there or even the best med out there in tier 10, but it's definitely not bad. And I've always been under the impression that the Progetto was just lousy. So we're having a great time though with over 4,000 average damage for what? Quite a few games in this tank, which is not easy to come by nowadays. All right, let's angle up our haul a little bit here. Yep, Progetto gets a nice bounce off the haul. That's what we like to see. Concept's here to help me on the hill now. This is good stuff. Now we are all set up in position, and I'm in a very strong holding position here. Let's wait for Mr. 57 or someone to get distracted. We'll take advantage of that. Also, we need to keep an eye out behind us because, well, we don't have anyone really spotting up their spawn. Let's put a quick shout to Mr. 57 here while he's distracted. 57 is now getting nuked in the side of the turret, but, you know, he's got to stare at that Progetto, right? Boom. Another shout to the 57. Well, hitting his tracks. I don't want to overpeak this, but the 57 actually really dumb messed up big time there. So 57 is now reloading his magazine. I think here's a good opportunity. Oh, really? Well, I'll wait till I have two shots at least. 
Boom. One shell into the 57 here. Yes, yeah, perfect. Let's aim for another track shot. I forgot that the drive wheels in the 57 are just, like, certified stupid now. Angle up our haul to the Leopard. 57's drive wheels are certified stupid. They suck to shoot at. Alright, nice one. Concepts holding the hill nicely there. We have double concepts on mines. If we don't win this, I'll be blown away. Bop, another shell to the Leopard. We're doing good. We've done nearly 2,000 damage already. Oh, yeah, yeah. A183. Uh, please don't do that. That would be rather unfortunate. Okay, we are definitely retaking this corner here. Uh, and, and we don't want Mr. 183 to say Shalom and, and nuke me for, like, all of my HP. That just would not be a very preferential experience. So let's put a quick shell towards this dude. Obviously, as you can see, Progetto's gun is not being the most snapshotty, but we do pick up a kill on this dude. And if Mr. 57 Heavy just tries to send the open, pick up another kill on his tank there. Perfect. That leaves my team free to start pressuring the Leo. I had to make this play because if we didn't, the 1A3 would become a pretty significant issue for me and my allies. So let's just keep holding here for the time being. Make sure we don't overexpose ourselves to any potential tank destroyer risks here. There's the Leopard. Oh, not quite able to hit him, but hopefully we can bait him out. Come on, get baited out. Boom. Nice shot onto his side there. We are one shot, but concepts. You got this, right, guys? Both of you can both of you can kill. Oh, okay. This dude's dead. Nice though. He did he did hit one shot. That was important. <gasps> oh, please don't see me. Please don't see me. Please don't see me. Perfect. Okay, he has a spall liner, but he didn't see me. Haha, <laughs> perfect. So I know where the Yag is now as well. And the 4005 and the 183. Their whole team is essentially pretty much just sitting here and spot up. So let's see. Mr. Jaeguru doesn't seem to notice me yet. So let's wait till we get a nice lower plate shot. Aiming. Aiming. Boom. One shot to lower plate. That's what we like to see. Second shot, not quite. But it's no biggie. 183 half just fired. I was waiting for that to happen. So now I can pull back a little bit here. We have about 20 seconds before he's reloaded. So this will be a good opportunity to see how effective 183 camouflage is. Let's put a quick shot on him there. Good stuff. Now we can pull forward again. See, maybe this Yak's going to give me another lower plate shot on him. Don't think he is, but we'll keep an eye out on him. And the 405 is pretty low, but he's still a threat to my allies. So, let's see if maybe 183 is interested in joining the party with another shell to the face there. Good stuff. Nice. So, we've been playing the versatile role. These TDs have been split out pretty good, which has made my life a little difficult. But I think for the most part, we've done a pretty solid job here. Pretty solid job. All right, Mr. Grill looks like he's about to make a play. I believe in you, Grill. There's still not really much I can do about it. The Yag just spotted me up as well, so that's a bit unfortunate. Um, maybe. Oh, yes, Mr. Yeageru. Okay, Mr. Yeager is down, so that takes a little bit of the crossfire attention off of me. 405 is definitely going to come my way, so we're going to pre-aim for him. Nice. Nice, nice. 405 will probably get nuked by the grill. Make it happen. Good stuff. 183 has just fired. Perfect! So I was waiting for my opportunity. Let's aim for a track shot. Not quite able to hit it. 4,600 damage dealt, though. I would say a pretty solid game. We might have almost killed ourselves. And yeah, just a very casual mines game. That's definitely how you should play if you're going to hold the hill. Our concepts did do a decent job as well. And let's try and not get bopped by a 183 because our RNG sucks. There we go. 4,800 damage dealt. Solid ace tanker. Well, maybe first class, not an ace tanker. 4,000 is not an ace tanker, but definitely first class because we, we put in a lot of work there. Yeah. First class. Almost an ace, I'm sure, with 1,100 assists. Not a bad game. Doing a good job out farming the Yo and both Concept 1Bs. So who says turret armor is everything when it comes to haul down gameplay? It matters most what you do in here. Just saying. Finance, would you rank Progetto 65 out of all mediums in tier 10 in terms of your favorites? Honestly, before today, I probably would have never ranked a Progetto 65 in my favorite medium tank list, so it's it's a little difficult to say where I'd rank it here. I would have to reconsider my favorite medium tank list before I do that. <laughs> well, that's unfair. My Progetto doesn't do that. <laughs> you have to have the fatness RNG to make it happen. Love it, man. Can you compare the tier 8? Oh, the tier 8 Progetto, bro. Everyone knows tier 8 Progetto is, is, is goaded. No comparison needed. Tier 8 Progetto is amazing. All right, let's see. E50M might have spotted me up there, huh? He did. My Jaeger is safe. I should be. My E5 safe, maybe. What? That was weird. I feel like my auto aim totally glitched out there. That should not have tracked on in such a weird way. Okay. So the the, the Sheridan's getting yagged for some reason. E50M is just chilling here. Let's aim for a track shot. Oh, where did that shot hit? That was his whole side. Sheridan's running away. Which means Jaeger is down here still. 
Okay, Jaeger is pushing down low. That's good for me. Here's what I'm going to do. Our Sheridan's going to go down, isn't he? Yep, he is totally going to go down here. Okay, so we're going to have to pull away from this Yag. That's for sure. Put a heat shell towards him. Do I have any support? Yes, I have a grill. So I'm not completely by myself. That's the good news. Boom, quick shell to this dude. We also have a, a Sheridan to deal with. Sheridan has just fired though, which is good. We can pull down just a little bit, so we're not in such a bad crossfire here. Sheridan's still going to be a bit of an issue. We're just going to wait for the for the Yag to make a move, and then we're going to take advantage of that play. Put a quick shell towards this dude. So obviously, my RNG is just not very good in this tank. But the Grill's making a play as well. So here's my opportunity here. I should put a track shell into this fool. Make sure we're Yag safe. Oh, come on! Get out of here, you hit that Yag. That is ridiculous. No! What am I supposed to do? Our Sheridan just suicided. Our Grill is... I don't know what this grill's doing. He just had to stay there and help me. Instead, he just yolo it in. He's dead. Oh my gosh, this grill is not very good. No, that was such an unlucky game. Our heavies are... I've thrown no takes away. Okay, so we are definitely not winning this. With allies like this, there is no way we can win that. Everyone straight up yellowing. Let's play a game of the standard B while we wait. I don't want to watch those dudes, but... We can totally pull off some standard B action. Standard B is also just such a good tank. Uh, if there is any reason to get yourself a Progetto, it's so you can play the standard B as well. Because this tank is incredible, especially with its HE rounds. It's much faster than the Progetto. It has much better accuracy than the Progetto. So pretty much you gain a much better gun, in my opinion in exchange for all of your armor. Uh, I kind of like that, although I'm not going to lie, the Progetto's armor is pretty lit. So just for one game, we'll run to the standard B. I don't, I don't want to watch those. I don't want to watch those Papaga Piggy Andes over there throwing their tanks away because, oh boy, that team was just something else. But let's let's demonstrate some some standard B action. Everyone loves the standard B. I, I, I feel like I've never really seen a player that just outright dislikes this tank. It, and it's not everyone's play style, but I think most players can agree this tank has a ton of potential with its really good autoloader, much better accuracy than the Progetto, and of course its HE rounds, which are just goaded against mediums and tier eights in general. So we're going to spot up the mid here. We haven't spotted anyone up just yet, so that's good to know. As a matter of fact, it looks like their team might have gone town. So let's, let's just go into the town a little bit ourselves, and uh, let's see if we can get some crossfire from here. Should be able to spot someone up any moment now. There's the Emil too. Good stuff. Let's put a quick shell towards this tank, dude. And you can see this gun definitely wins in the accuracy department over the Progetto. And we're going to hold this position for now because I'm sure there's going to be a lot more tanks coming in. We're just spotting up their whole team. This VK over here looking kind of like a snack. So let's put a quick shell into this tank there. Good stuff. Another shell. Boom. You can see this gun. Oh, man. I forgot how good the standard B is. Do I need to mention that this tank is good? Or do you guys just like understand that? Oh, really? Oh, I thought I was reloading my next shell. But the reload's a little longer. The reload is a little longer in this tank. Something to keep in mind. Aha! Wait, you're still trying to shoot at me even though you're getting shot at from the right. Are you... Are, are you kidding? <laughs> Let's put a quick shot to this dude. Okay. So my whole team's like chilling in spawn and their whole team is just like, I don't know, drowning? I don't really know what their team is doing. I'm just going to assume they're all drowning at this point. So there's the Patton. There's the Moisten. There's the Object 252U. Pan's going to go for maybe a crossing here. Let's aim a shell into him. Boom. 340. Oh, this gun is so great. After playing the Progetto, it's kind of nice to have a snappy gun again. Not going to lie. Okay, let's wait till we reloaded two shots here. Boom. One shot into the Emil. Aim a second shot into the Emil. Boom. Let's pull forward so we don't take one from him. I'm just trying to provide a crossfire for my remaining allies down here. Good stuff. I don't want to take a shot from the Moisten though, so let's back up just a little bit. And make sure we continue maintaining safe angles to farm damage without overcommitting just yet. I think this 252U is going to give me some farm soon. So see, he's not really looking at me. I'm not going to risk it as an auto reloader. I don't want to just dump my shells out randomly. I'm going to wait till I have a guaranteed shot. So let's see. Now we might actually be able to pull it off. Take it back. These are not guaranteed shots. Here's what we're going to do. AT-15 and 46 band need to go down. I can see the 252U is headed our way. But we really need to clear out this right side of the map. And so that's exactly what I'm going to do here. Let's put a quick shell to this dude. Let's try and avoid the VK here. Okay, the VK is just fired. Let's put a heat shell to this dude. Pick up a super essential kill shot there. That was important for the team. We're going to get ready to start working down this pan. We've already dealt 3,000 damage to this battle. 
And the pan's looking a little bit exposed here. So let's put a quick shot onto his tracks. Not quite able to hit him. That's the 252 shooting at me, but I need to pick up this kill. Nice little kill shot there. I didn't think the 252 would just be sitting in the open to stare at me, but there you go. He is indeed doing just that. And so this game is still ridiculously close considering how much damage I've already farmed out. Oh, Emil, don't hit those. So I don't think the Emil can outspot me here. Boom, one shot into the ML. He just fired, he has a much longer intro clip than me, so let's see if we can aim for another one in. Not quite, okay. The VK is holding on the right. Oh, Mill goes down, good stuff, good stuff. Let's pull back so the 252 can't spot me. 252 has just fired his gun. And now, we can make a play for the 252. Boom, one track shot to keep him in place. Let's aim a second track shot and maybe to keep him in place. Boom, let's pull back so he doesn't have time to shoot at me. But then let's pull forward again so we can shoot him in the side and pull back once again. We're just doing a very good job holding this corner here. And um, wow, this this enemy team is not doing very good, are they? Very good. Not a shot onto this fool. He should go down to the RU. Let's let's just go yell the motion at RU and get as much damage as possible before this game is up. Oh wait, maybe we can. Okay, yeah, not not worth my time. RU is killing himself, but maybe maybe a clip it to the motion. We'll actually be able to ace the standard B first try. Actually, a pretty good game in the standard B. It's a great example of how much this thing is good. It doesn't farm damage as quickly as the Progetto when it comes to base ammunition, but it just has that increase, increased gun handling that makes it so much more spicy for kind of slightly more distance engagements. No. What are you doing, Moishin? Please don't get yourself farmed out before I can put a full clip into you, sir. One shot. Two shot. No, I wasn't fast enough to get a full farm out, but still, that's probably an ace tanker. Goodness, I love the standard B. I'm only playing one tank in the uh, one battle in this tank today, but I don't need to explain just why this gun is so good. You just take it casually to your farm position, you farm out almost 6,000 damage and ace the tank first try, because why not? Honestly, this game could have been like 6.5k, so 5.8k, pretty solid result. Let's see hey, how bad this game was. I probably still did better than most of my teammates. Yeah, yeah, with three shots, I still did better than four of my teammates for that last game of the Progetto. So RIP to that team. Let's jump back into some Progetto action. Um, very solid game in the standard B. I don't think I need to play any more games in it, though. You guys know how to play that tank. You know what's great about it. It's all about that gun and using it more like a pseudo bat chat style medium rather than the Progetto, which is more of a slightly more aggressive medium, in my opinion. Well, I thought you hated the tank. Why Why not do a killer stream? Hey, yo, you say you thought I hated the Progetto, but do you see, I have like nearly just under 4,000 average damage 30 games in with a 79% winner in the Progetto. So I kind of disliked the Progetto back in the day, and I just didn't really play it because I didn't like it back in the day. But my opinion has changed. I, I actually find this tank very enjoyable as we're casually just pulling out about 4,000 damage in this tank. One quick shot into Mr. Leopard. Boom, two quick shots into Mr. Leopard, which watch out for Mr. T30 and Mr. 5A. Mr. 5A is not causing any issues though. Um, we also have Mr. T30, Mr. Mouse, boom, one quick shot. I had to pull back because I knew those dudes were going to try and shoot me, which I did just in time. I might have taken, you know, a thousand to the face if I hadn't pulled back there. Boom. Oh, that shot onto the T30. We're getting some Omega spicy shots. Let's keep an eye out Mr. 183 though. Mr. 183 is like, I am going to YOLO. Let's put a quick shot onto him. This is some good farm stuff right here. Let's go. All right. We might be able to reload just in time to put another shot to Mr. 183. Oh my goaded shooting. I was calling this gun trash, was I not? Oh, why are we hitting every like hot snapshot today? This is unreal, but this is what we like to see. This is what we like to see. This is what we like to do. This is how we roll. All right. Mr. T30, boom, quick shell to him there. Let's try and not take 640 to the face though. Can't quite snap that one off, but I'm just gonna back up into safety. We know where the 183 is after all, so we don't have to worry about tank destroyers at this point. Um, Mr. T30 is getting a little aggressive as he gets yoinked by my allies there. Good stuff, we know where the 183 is, we know where the 422 is, we know where the mouse is. I think we should take this opportunity to start a counter push here, right onto the leopard. So leopard's gonna be my first victim. Quick shell to him there. Let's use him as a meat shield from the 5A, if at all possible. If we can't, that's fine. We'll just accept taking a shot or two. Push shell to this 5A. And then what I'm gonna do from here is we're gonna pull out down low. That way I can avoid taking any more shots from the 5A, just kind of maintain a safe position. So perfect, we're gonna reload a couple Couple more shots. Let's watch out for that 422. He might be thirsting for me. We don't know. Um, I don't quite have the gun depression here, but very good stuff. Good work by me and my allies. Clearing out that side very quickly there. 422 appears to be full sending it. Um, RNG said no, though. We were not going to hit those. So, 
422 being mad aggressive to bounce a Hesh shell off of me because, you know, that's a good exchange, always. Um, so does appear we have lost our standard B. Bit unfortunate. I think what I can definitely do here now is put myself in a position to deal with Mr. Mousy Poo. So Mr. Mousy Poo is trying to pull back here a little bit. Let's put a quick shove to the front of his turret. Not quite able to hit him there. Mr. Mousy Poo doesn't seem the most uh, capable player in the world, which is good for me because it means this 183 is ready to die. So put quick kill shot to Mr. 183. Good stuff. Mr. Mousy Poo really does seem to be struggling. All right, P to Mr. Mousy Poo. I don't know if his driver's dead. His driver is definitely dead. Uh, Mr. Mousy Poo gave me that free damage though. Yes, free damage. You hate to see it, but you love to do it. Yeah, boy, 5,000 damage out with the Progetto. Let's go. We are back on a roll in the Progetto. So after that bad Dead Rail game, we just got all the Yoded teams all of a sudden. Casually chilling in the Progetto. Now, the Progetto definitely does that much easier than something like a standard B, because I was able to hold hold down there and just risk being a little bit more aggressive on that ridge line, which the standard B, I would be like, hey, don't want to poke this. This is scary. Uh, but there we go. 5,500 damage, Ace Tanker. We are on a roll. We are big vibing right now as we are back to 4K average in the Progetto. Let's go. 30 games, 4,000 average damage. Now that's what I am talking about. Fanis, consider doing a, a sauna stream. It's in. A sauna stream. My computer, though, would break with all the steam. OP shot, yes. Still looking forward to a Fanis tier 8 light tank. Uh, extra... Uh, oh, extravagance. <laughs> I can't read. Yes, we'll have to do that sometime. Playing all the tier 8 lights, why not? What is your opinion... Opi <laughs> opioid, opioid of the, opioid the progetto. What is my opi opioid of the progetto, guys? Uh, don't do drugs. No, progetto. I actually think it's a very solid tank. I think it's not going to be for everyone, but I think for the most part, most people are going to be very happy with this vehicle, especially with this how good its gun is. Let's put a quick shot to this fool here. If he continues pulling forward, it's going to be the death of him. So, yeah, I'm not really sure what's with this tunnel here. Uh, WZ, do you guys mind not all blocking me? Yeah, tunnel gets you killed, guys. Do not tunnel me when I have the firing squad with me. It is certain death. Okay, so the Progetto, uh, it works well. As you can see, you have to have a brain to use it properly, though. If you do kind of, uh, uh, sussy baka pushes like Mr. Progetto there, you're not going to do good. Uh, regardless of how good a tank is, you're going to suffer. Boom. One shot to this dude. Um... Oh, we only have two shots in the magazine. Very, very stupid of me. Let's just keep holding this position. Make sure we're 183 safe. Looks like the mid is clear for the time being. And let's see, the 183 might pull back to try and put a shell. Let's just keep an eye on the mini map. Make sure we don't get crossfired out right now. That's my priority here. All right. So 183 just fired. Good stuff. That means the C50M looking kind of lonely over here. Let's put a quick shell to C50M. He's getting mad crossfired out now as well. That's just what we wanted to see. 54 damages my gun. I suppose that's fine. Oh, now we have a tank on our side. Where did you come from, sir? Did I say you were permitted to shoot? Oh my gosh, my gunner is now dead. Yes. Y'all onto a crossfire for me, boy. Make it happen. Boom. Let's track him in place. No! What's my ally doing? What are my allies doing here? Bro, everything is dead on this tank all of a sudden. Come on, angle. Angle, 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 angle. No! Oh, come on! Conway, 7 to 4, how did you kill him? Dude, why is my traverse so bad? Oh, E100, you've got to be kidding. How'd you mess that one up? And our mouse. Our, our heavies are being useless on this flank. Shout out to this Conway, 7 to 4. They did a good job. I have no clue how that 268 got there completely unspotted. That was stupid. I expected him to be in the mid. I didn't expect him to be there. And of course, he killed like every module in my turret. So I could not traverse there for some really weird reason. Um, you ordered. You got this, buddy. He's gonna shoot. Ooh, E100. I have lost all confidence I have in the state of E100 players. Oh, E100 players, they are just exceptional. This is Mr. Um, Patricio Ortega. Mr. Patricio Ortega here is obviously dealing with lag. Uh, Lag, most likely in terms of internet. At least I like to believe it's internet lag. It's easier to comprehend that way. Um, and he's not doing so well. Now we have El Destructor 1533 in the mouse demonstrating his true ability to perform as he gets flanked 
and yoinked by the whole squad. The Waffenträger over here about to dominate this fool, but he pulls through, clutching up a kill. Will he be able to stay alive long enough to clutch this game up? Coming up next on Will the Mouse Survive? No, the mouse will not survive. In fact, the mouse is still surviving and he's thriving! Oh my goodness, E100 players, mouse players, they are the scariest kind of players to have on your team, I swear, man. It's really hard to rely on these dudes. I don't know when the German Super Heavies became a magnet for 600 ping, but obviously Wargaming needs to rework their codes because most E100 and, and mouse players, they're suffering from 6700 ping, right? That's that's the only reasonable explanation I can give. Someone before you gotta back up and shoot him right in the side. Oh, with the fire. No, but you got this. He doesn't have the alpha. I think he has 310, so you should be fine. Just don't ram him. Hmm. You got this. Yes, let's go 704. Good work. Get it. Get it, buddy. You got it. Kill him. <laughs> what am I watching? What is this? This is the equivalent of absolute nonsense. What am I watching? Ah, what am I watching? 704 VK someone just kill someone just killed each other already This is insanity. How are you guys 700 ping? 700 ping players only explanation They are 700 ping players. Okay, you know the 704 actually did pretty good most of that game. I will give him credit <clears throat> I did 3k still Lucky 268, if he hadn't damaged my modules, I would have killed him just fine because I would have had him on reload and mobility and, and everything would have been chilling. So I four had a pretty decent, decent game. Uh, E100, Mr. Patricio Ortega did zero, uh, unsurprising. Our, we had a T22 apparently, he did two shots. Uh, Mr. Mouse, 45. Okay. Oh my lord. What did I just ex witness? <laughs> what did I just witness? You know what I'm most curious about? How does the VK4502B miss like seven shots? How does he miss like seven shots? Six or seven shots on the 704. The 704 was practically a two shot. And this dude will allow the 704 to shoot at him three times and still died. Like what? Insanity. All right, so we got a wild progetto here on our left. Looks like he's overextended here maybe just a little bit. I know there's a little bit aggressive of me, but if he doesn't have enough support right off the bat, this is a really good farm opportunity, so I'm going to definitely take advantage of it. Oh, okay, they didn't kill him. I kind of thought my allies would kill him faster. Hello, allies. Okay, there we go. So he gets taken down at least. Uh, Standard B is being a little bit aggressive here as well. Boom, was pre-aim. Nice, Hit, bouncing it off his manlet, but we have a pattern in the corner. 113 and 60 TP look like they're both headed this way. I'm actually going to pull back because I think they're going to start pressuring the outside a little bit. And I don't want to get fined from the left like our poor M60 is about to. But we will put ourselves in a position to do the farming on the left. So 60 TP. It's just pulled in front of us. Let's load up a heat shell for the upper plate. Boom, one shell into Mr. 60 TP. And then boom, second shell into Mr. 60 TP. If he keeps pulling forward, our 60 TP should be able to distract him nicely there. You see, he takes a nice shell from the 60 TP. And we'll just continue farming him out while he's stuck in the open. He really doesn't have anywhere to go but down, which gives me at least one more shot. Then I'll help our meds out up top here. So boom, another shell into this dude. Very good stuff. And now we can just start helping our dudes out up top here. No problem. Standard B should go down first. And then we'll follow it up by killing the FE4202. So Mr. Standard B has just fired once. I think our Patton's getting ready to make a bit of an aggressive play here. Uh, let's pull back in case Mr. 422 gets a little over aggressive here. Let's take his tracks off. Good, nice track shell into his tank there. Keeping him in place just a little bit. Patton's taking him out. 113 is just full sending it, but that's fine by me. Let's wait till we've reloaded three shots here. Boom, one shot into his lower plate. Let's aim for that engine deck. Second shot. That's 3,000 damage dealt already. Let's aim a third shot. Boom, 330 there. Patton should be able to kill the Standard B. Good stuff. All right, let's see. I think we can HE the back of his turret. Wait, you can usually HE that if it's great. I guess maybe it's just a hit skin issue. All right, whatever. Another shell to this dude. Good stuff. 3,800 damage dealt. A pretty solid game. And we just had to take it easy. That 60 TP done mega messed up there. Uh, mega, mega messed up. And so that left me free with some good farm on him. And we managed to get some high damage out that game. Not too bad. <laughs> Where Bobby? You want to see Bobby? You're going to see my bed, but... Oh, the light's so bright, but here's Bobby. She's right here. There you go. 
I know you can't see her because like the water bottles are in the way, but there you go. There is Bobby. She is so cute, but we'll keep the camera on me because that's not a very pretty perspective with the light shining into it. <laughs> Brain is fried. Oh, she went 13s on the turret if you can. Uh, you mean with HE? I just tried that and I didn't pen. Preposterous. Absolutely preposterous. Could you please show controls? Um, well, the controls are always visible. Or do you mean, like, my sensitivity? If you're talking about, like, specific sensitivity, I run 85 on the camera and, like, 100% on the joystick. Other than that, it doesn't really matter. I think everything else is pretty much visible. Let's see. Okay, very nice, Sheridan. Hmm, it's just me and a Sheridan on this side, so I'm gonna take a little easy here. I'll just keep pre-aiming for now. It's only a matter of time before one of these feels poke forward. We'll wait for it. Uh, we'll keep an eye out for the 113. Let's see, actually, who's spotted at the bridge? It's the VK. 113, or if any of those heavies come this way, we could have problems to deal with. They also have a Vickers Light that's unspotted. The 113's at least not headed this way. There's the Vickers. And let's see, maybe we can spot the 200 LT up. Aha, so there's the 200 LT. There's also a standard B. Boom, 200 LT. Let's put a quick shell into him. He's the much more dangerous target here. He's the one I want to deal with first. Boom, another shell into 200 LT, who is just straight up YOLOing to his death, apparently, because that's always fun. And our standard B uh, is going to be a bit of an issue now as well. So let's get ready to start dealing with this fool. I'm going to wait for a 200 LT to pull forward, maybe. Oh, that's a 4005. Okay, we are dead. So there's not really much I can do about this situation here. With the 4005, the standard B, the Vickers, all of these fools are just going to make my life a little bit miserable. But I'll do my best to try and help our poor Sherid uh, Sheridan out, but... So I knew they were gonna- f I just knew they were gonna send a random tank here. These dudes should be able to win very easily on the left, I think. Come on, you guys got this. Oh, I shouldn't have overcommitted. I should have just ran away. The Sheridan did good getting out, but he has much better mobility than the Progetto. I kind of overcommitted because I didn't think the 4005 was gonna be there. If the 4005 wasn't there, we could have won that just fine by focus firing together and splitting their attention. The- the big issue was, is, well, as you can see, the 405 showed up and ruined the party, but we should be able to win this game. I guess while we're waiting, so I don't bore you guys, we'll, we'll go back out to the standard B. Or- or heck, do we even play a game in the TVP? You know what's playing in the TVP? It's been a long time. I know it's a Progetto showcase, but I already played the standard B, so let's just play uh, a game in the standard and the TVP while we wait. I know it's a very different tank than the Progetto. I would think the Progetto is probably the better of the two vehicles because of its versatility. It doesn't have a ridiculously long reload, it has a smaller profile, more consistent armor, I would say. But the TVP can still be really fun when you just get this absolutely massive autoloader working so well i'll run a quick game in the tvp while we wait i think we'll play to progetto how long has the stream been going has it only been seven eight oh it's only been two and a half hours we'll, we'll, we'll let it go a little longer then people just yolo his royal fatness yeah i mean i didn't expect the 405 to be there so tvp long reload very good accuracy actually and amazing four shot auto loader we're gonna go pretty aggressively here and we're gonna show this leopard just how much his life is gonna become hell soon one shot into mr leopard boom two shots into mr leopard boom three shots into mr leopard we're gonna avoid any crossfires here we have one more shell in the magazine let's try and bait it into the sheridan or the leopard let's see mr leopard oh oh mr sheridan and leopard are all pre-aiming i'm glad it didn't over overextend there boom oh we didn't quite pet it but it's okay we got a bit of a crossfire here if they try to overextend the push on me it'll be the last of them so if, as long as these dudes do their job we're chilling mind you i say as long as they do their job so we're reloading our magazine now let's keep an eye on the sheridan sheridan's making a play forward we're gonna focus on killing the leopard when the time is ripe so mr leopard's getting a little bit over aggressive now let's put a quick shell into his tracks track him in the open let's hem maybe oh nope only 200 there maybe a quick kill shot here oh no we're messing it up. Boom. There we go. Nice little kill. So you can really easily two clip tanks in the TVP, but as you can see, it has a much taller profile than the Progetto and it has, it's gun depression doesn't feel quite as good, which is why I kept messing up shots on that leopard, but we can still perform quite well in this vehicle. Let's start off by killing Mr. Sheridan here. So we're going to avoid Mr. Progetto. We'll put one shell into, okay. Boom. One shell into Mr. Sheridan here. Boom. A kill shot to Mr. Sheridan as well. Mr. Progetto's pulling forward. Look how accurate this gun is, though. If there's one thing I have to say about the TVP compared to a Progetto, it 100% wins in the accuracy department. I, I don't know what you're doing, but just take the full clip for a moment. I can kill him in a moment. The Progetto can clip me out. That's the issue. So if he decides to do that, we got a pro- 62 a Why would you abandon me? You just had to chill, boss. 
All right, we should have the Progetto on reload here. One shot, boom, two shot, boom, three shot. We might take one, boom, four shot. Oh, that gun is sick. It, it, it is undeniable that the TVP does have such a fun gun once you can get it, once you can get it rolling. When you get this tank clipping its magazine out, it is crazy. But here's where Progetto would be much better. I am unable to farm any damage now late game because, well, the reload on this tank is so ridiculously long, 20 seconds, and I wasn't able to do much more than that. Still, TVP wasn't too bad. I would say it's actually easier to farm in the Progetto for the most part because the Progetto is just big chillin' uh, with its more reliable ability to deal damage consistently versus the TVP, which is all about burst damage. So if you miss a single shot, TVP ain't it, Chief. Uh, we did manage to win this game. The T100 LT did, wow, 300 damage somehow. Um, we did okay. It, it could have been much worse, to be honest. Let's go another game in the Progetto. We got to get the Progetto to like 35 games. And then if you guys want, I can play a few games in the TVP. But I at least, I always try to get to at least 35 games in a tech tree showcase or well, any kind of tier 10 showcase, not tech tree per se. But 82% uh, win rate, 3,912 average damage. Average has dropped just a little bit in the Progetto, but that happens when with prolonged uh, sessions. If you really want good average damage in the tank, don't ever play more than like 10 or 15 games at a time in it. That is the key because the longer you play the vehicle, the more likely you're going to get sloppy when playing it that's just uh that's straight facts also almost 400 likes guys let's make it happen i'll give you a fist bump if we do okay let's see me and a leopard they have a Patton and a bachatillon and a bunch of tds uh considering my options i do have a wz for support i'll go left i won't full commit left though uh, so if i'm gonna go left i need to make sure those tank destroyers aren't just gonna pop up and be like well hello there and just you know yeet me especially if that 60 tp shows up so we're gonna spot left for now without over committing really good news bat chat's not here so at least their light tank isn't in the vicinity let's be maybe a little bit more aggressive in our spotting if the bat chat's there there's a good chance he has other tanks with him up there um here's where the 60 tp is we'll knock down the tree for a little bit of additional camouflage i like this position because you're pretty much td safe from the left side and we're just going to see if we can spot any fools rotating in or out so far no one's been spotted so let's see Mr. Batchat gets spotted once again. Progetto, you can see, has a very long aim time. Bad dispersion, at least. But we do manage to get a good shot on this dude here. 1A3 is overextendo just a little bit. Let's get ready to put some shots into Mr. 183 here. Boom. One shell into Mr. 1A3. He is not quite looking at me just yet. Let's put another shell into this dude. Boom. Making him a one shot. That's what we like to see. Mr. 1A3 is not having a very good day. We also take a shot from their spawn sniping a mill one. Oh, two shots. Apparently, he has the intra clip on me there. Okay. So, that's good news. We know where their mill is. We know where their 183 is. 200 L, uh, Bash Hot 25T, who is definitely coming my way, but he just fluffed his shot. The E4, in fact, did come my way. Was not expecting the E4 to come, but uh, there you go. Boom. Really? This gun can be so put back to deal with. WZ's come to support. You got this, WZ. All right, so we do have a lot of meds headed our way. We'll keep an eye out on that. If this pattern full sends it, though, I got a WZ for support, so I'm not super worried about him just full sending it. Yeah, that's right. That's right. You show him WZ. Track the Batcha in the open so he can't quite yellow in on me here comfortably. We might end up getting yellowed here. It looks like that's exactly what's going to happen here. Let's try and angle our upper plate. Oh, we managed to bait a shot. Oh, ho. Oh, ho. Oh, absolute baller. Absolute baller. Pan's just fired again. We don't know where the E4 is. Thank you so much, WZ. You clutched hard there. You clutched hard. Clutched harder than <laughs> my booty there when the bat was trying to kill me. Okay, I'm just I'm just joking, but it, it kind of. All right, WZ, I believe in you. I can provide all the support, but you need to tank some shots here for me. Otherwise, this, this relationship is not going to work out, buddy. Boom! One shot to this fool. Oh! 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 RNG! I love you. Boom! Another shot to this fool. Let's go. Making it work. All right, WZ, I believe in you. Come on, e WZ, you got this. No! I thought WZ was going to kill the E4! No! Why would the E4 go for me when the Patton was going to go for... My team lost? Hello, team? How did you mess that up? What on earth did you guys do? What? Bro. What did these guys do? Oh, they're all in a ditch. I don't know how many times I have to say this. Don't ever push into a ditch when it's surrounded by hills where you're going to get cross-fired out. 
Like, look at them. All these fools died in the ditch. Imagine the leopard had actually come and helped me on the med side. The, the WZ did a pretty good job. But, oh my goodness. No wonder we lost. Why? Okay. Number one, super important lesson. Don't push into ditches in the middle of a game or at the start of a game. Do you want to know why? Because you will get crossfired out and end up like Leopard doing 300 damage. Or 183 who was the last tank to die and did 200 damage. Like, when you get yourself stuck in a ditch, an enemy team has even one or two, two, excuse me, one or two tanks above it and shooting down into it. And they have like one tank holding down low. You're pretty much screwed at that point. You're, you're pretty much screwed. This is the same on practically any map. Port Bay, do not push into the ditch at the very beginning or during the middle of the battle, unless it's for cleanup at the end. Uh, same for Castilla, you don't really push into the ditch per se, like Sea Cap, uh, it just doesn't go well. Um, the, most maps aren't designed so you can just sit in a ditch and be safe. Ditches are usually traps. Port, uh, uh, Canal, for instance. If you push into the medium side ditch on canal, oh boy, that's usually never going to go well. Uh, I would just say, if you're going to be playing on maps, try and always maintain the high ground, as Obi-Wan Kenobi did. And this will give you the power to persevere. And, and and really, it's all about positioning, though. If you can maintain the high ground, it really does give you the best positioning to succeed in a lot of situations. Ooh, I got spotted by the TNA too. I didn't expect that. We're gonna have to pull back to a slightly safer position. No, no mouse. Of course, the mouse is just there, and our 50B is doing absolutely nothing to spot him up, and I just wasted a repair kit. Yay. Okay, so here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna just climb up this side of the hill now. Whee! Try and get safe, and we'll work down this Leopard and T92 very shortly. So... T92's pushed up a little bit more aggressively here. Boop, quick shell to you. Managed to bait a shell from the TI2, good stuff. We know they probably have TDs in the back hill there. Here's Mr. Leopard, boom. What, where did that shot go? RNG? I don't understand, and I don't want to understand. We somehow bounced off of a Leopard's mantlet. We have support, right? Yeah, the IS-8's coming out to provide support soon. All right, we're still chilling, we're still chilling. Yeah, we've bled a few hit points more than I wanted here. Leopard's now on the outside. There we go. Looks like the TI2 is going down low. Which is fine by me because means uh, free kill. Okay, free kill for the allies. Good stuff. Leopard is still over here, but it looks like he's making a break for it. I'm sure there's TDs cover firing him, so I'm not going to overextend O just yet. IS8, be my guest. <laughs> be my guest, Mr. IS8. Good, take the shots for me. Hmm. Fosh isn't on their hill. Let's, let's see if we can farm their Fosh then. Oh boy, did I get spotted up by the by the 183? I don't think I did. Alright, one shot to 183. Good stuff. 183's dropped down. There's the Gorilla 15. Boom. One shot to him. I don't think I'm spotted up. Let's put a blind shot in just in case. Good stuff. So unfortunately, we have lost our our valiant chosen one. Oh, my commander's been dead this whole time. I was wondering why my gun was acting so bad. It's because my commander wasn't wasn't doing so well. That would make a lot of sense. Okay. So, it's just me, but I do have a couple allies here for support. Boom. One little snapshot into Mr. Leo. Two Mr. Snapshots into Mr. Leo. Maybe if Mr. Leo gives me a third snapshot opportunity here. I do have to watch out for that mouse and grill and Fosh from behind, though. They will definitely be curious about nuking me. Unfortunately, we do lose the tanker up top there. Okay, we gotta kill this leopard at all costs. Let's make it happen, 50B. Okay, so Mr. Leopard, oh, of course, and he hits that shot in return. Well, that's just not ideal. Uh, teammates are just not ideal. I don't like teammates. They are more of a pain than a help. Okay, so we're pulled down to a safer position here. Let's see if there's anything I can do about Mr. Mouse here in the crossing. Quick shot to Mr. Mouse. You can see there's an E75 up here now. We've only dealt 2,000 damage this game. Okay. What I have to do here, so we know where the grill is, we know where the 183 is, we know where the E75 is. It's by myself versus all of these tanks. Um, the Leopard is probably still going to be my goal. But my other goal is to see if I can bait the C75 into trying to shoot at me. Although he can technically one-shot me. I want to save two shots for the Leopard here. And 
And this way I can just back up to a safe position. So regardless of which direction the C-75 comes from, we will be able to hold a semi-safe position here. And so we're going to pull close into this dude. Oh, of course he hit that on the move. Oh my gosh, he didn't even aim that. That's such a lucky shot from the hit. That should have been an auto ricochet. That team was really bad. Oh my goodness. I don't know what the 50B did there. I don't know what my allies did either. I didn't really get to farm out. Looks like it's the end of the glory Progetto farm days, but I don't know. Our ISA did one shot and died. Our T92 somehow got himself killed. I didn't even realize we had a 9... We had a 907? What on earth was he doing all game? Goodness, if the, if the 907 had gone hill with us, we could have cleared out to the top. Oh, finally, a good map. My opinion, I'm not a huge fan of uh, Castilla as a map, actually. It's not really a map I enjoy that often for a lot of reasons, but it's definitely not the worst out there. I kind of look forward to the changes. It looks like there's going to be a lot of new positions introduced. So I look forward to seeing how those can be utilized in the future. Uh, let's jump into the next game. However, this game is on my absolute favorite map. Uh, probably my favorite map in the game, Canal. It is big, it is versatile, and any tank class can thrive on Canal. This is why, in my opinion, this is what we I like to refer to as a perfect map, because any tank can thrive on this map. Now, I was too busy talking to really pay attention to the fact that there is a patent here. But with the support of Mr. E50M, this shouldn't be a huge issue. We will be careful not to overexpose, though, just because we don't want to get tank destroyed. Although the 57's already nuked himself, so that's pretty much uh, made things easier for me. Yeah, okay, patent's getting pushed into a crossfire. Yep, that's exactly what we wanted to happen there. Good stuff. And I don't think their TDs are here, because they would have been spotted already, right? I don't think the patent would have spotted me. This is what I'm going to do. I'm going to push through this ditch. I have a feeling they're all in spawn hill or in the back. I don't think they're on their main spawn hill. The pan looked like he was completely alone. So let's take advantage of this too. Okay, they have a 405 there and a Yag over here. Still. That's what we wanted to find. There's the Gorilla 15. And so let's load an HE up for him. Okay, he has a spall liner. Unfortunately, our E50M does go down to the 405 there. Uh, the 405 might still have a shell. I don't know if he does, but if he doesn't, uh, we should probably get out of here before he can do anything to me. Okay, I think he's reloading. This might be my, my best opportunity here. Boom. Oh, of course he hits that. Any max rolls? Get out of here. That's what I refer to as big stupid. So he still had two shots left in the magazine. What? Or did he have a full three? Of course he has a full three. How did he reload his whole magazine in like 10 seconds? I could have sworn he killed the 50 m Did he not? Wow, I totally misjudged his magazine reload time there. That was on me. Yikers. Taking way too much damage there, unfortunately. I don't know what angle this... Oh, he's looking my way. I thought he was looking away. I see. Okay. Here's what we can do here. I'm going to maintain a bit of a, a distance crossfire. This is... I like Canal, but this is just one of those weird battles where there's like no damage farming because their whole team is just slowly killing themselves one by one, essentially. So, this isn't a very fun Canal... Uh, experience, even though I do, generally speaking, really enjoy this map a lot. Okay, Yag's not looking. Here's my opportunity here to put one shot to his drive wheel, maybe. Okay, apparently his drive wheel isn't enough to take his tracks off. Still, I got him distracted for long enough, I think. Kron being a little bit out of the way. Looks like our Yag is just going to full send it. What a chad. There you go. Big brain Kron. All right. So the 405, technically speaking, could one-tap me here. I should be careful not to get myself killed. I didn't realize this game was so close until now. I'm going to pull back towards our spawn. Our 1A3 is being kind of a little bit useless here. So hopefully... Hopefully he can get his gun in the game. 1A3, you're full HP. Oh ho ho! Very interesting. 183, you gonna help out a little bit over here, buddy? I don't know if he has the gun to press him to shoot me there, but it probably does by the looks of it. Let's track him. Okay, we're still alive for the time being. I don't know for how much longer, though. 183, I really need your support. If this dude comes after me, I need your support at all costs. Free aim. 183, you're full HP! Come on, dude! Oh my. Osvaldo Martinez, you are full HP! Why have you been sitting in the back all game on full hit points?
goodness, dude. You could have pulled anywhere on the map and been more useful than here, where you only have good crossfire on the mid towards their spawn. Oh my goodness. Osvaldo Martinez. Why you gotta make life hard for me? He ricocheted off a of 4005. He ricocheted off a of 4005. <laughs> oh, please just make your tank disappear already. Yes, Martinez, end my suffering. Thank you. Mm. R.I.P. the good games in the Progetto. I like I like Canal, but I should have gone left instead of to the middle ditch. My average is starting to drop. I'm definitely not playing as well. Not the tank's fault. Um, 54% we're in 12,000 games. The, the main issue with our 183 is that he spent way too much time sitting back when we needed his hit points in the game. Everyone was essentially one shot on the team. And he was still just sitting really far back instead of playing, uh, instead of like pushing forward because he could take two full clips, well, one and a half clips from one of those tanks, which would have been really important for keeping me alive. Uh, he somehow let the 4005 climb all the way up the hill while I was spotting him without even shooting at him. I don't know how he didn't have a kill shot on the 4005 multiple times there. It, 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 we could have easily won if the 183 just been a little bit more of a big brain player, but unfortunately he wasn't. Ah, uh, well. It is what it is. Let's go jump into C cap. I'm going to go C instead of corner. I don't think the projectile has enough armor to go corner. I'll leave that to 30B. I also like to go for these early shots on tanks that are crossing. So nice early shot to Mr. Batchat here. If Mr. Batchat pulls forward to try and shoot at me, we can apparently hit his viewport and not pen, but we do hit that one. There's no way. Oh, the Batchat's gun handling is just so much better, but you are on a full magazine reload now, buddy. What are you going to do now, huh? There is nowhere for you to run. There is nowhere for you to hide. All right, hello, 907. Boom, one shot to 907. 183 has just fired his gun off, which is really good for me. There's also a 405 up there. I'm gonna let these dudes chill. They're not really bothering me all that much. Let's see, Mr. Chief to Mark 6 here. Can't quite pre the hatch well there. We also have Mr. 907 here. Let's put a quick shot to him. So I'm just working mid to try and keep the meds occupied and kind of off my allies and also to support my heavies here who I don't really trust too well to, to work that corner. Put quick shelters this dude. All right, we'll be careful for their tank destroyers on the right. We'll just keep holding mid here. This is actually one of my favorite positions, even for Progetto, because uh, you just have to be a little bit passive. Take your time, take it easy, wait for these fools to become distracted and, and put a track shot into them. Okay, maybe that wasn't take it easy quite, take it easy. Put a hat shot into this chieftain. Uh, apparently my gun just sucks. Oh. Can you guys not do anything about the meds in the corner? Their 183 is fired multiple times. There's no way he can shoot you in the crossing. Why doesn't the 30B just take the corner and pressure their meds out? I, I don't understand these players. Ay ay ay. Well, this position is usually good when the meds aren't allowed to just sit there and stare at you for free. Oh my gosh, you guys actually let the 907 take the corner for free. Y'all are very disappointing teammates in the corner. I farmed the bat, the bat chat and a 907 out for y'all and you still can't deal with them. Come on, you got this here, 100. I believe, I believe in you. He's just so tunnel visioned on me. Both meds got themselves killed. That is a 10 out of 10 meme, not gonna lie. How did these dudes get themselves killed? I don't know. Apparently they just are that bad. Okay. So, here's what we're gonna have to do. Oof. You roll 350 and of course you're sitting in the open where you could have been nuked by any of our TDs, by the way. Bruh, the batch at mega high rolls. I don't know what the 405 is doing down here. All right, that's enough Progetto for me for today. Ugh, the teams have been big no bueno. Somehow both of our meds failed to take corner and still got themselves killed even though they had 2k HP between them. And yeah. Too much faith in the meds to actually do the right thing. I was like, I mega farmed them out. Okay, but we'll play a couple in the TVP just for a change of pace. I just feel like uh, 37 games in the Progetto for me is good enough. I Like I said, I usually never play more than 10 to 15 games at a time in a tank. So pushing double that number is a bit overkill for my brain to handle. So that's why I usually end showcases at 35. But from here on out, we'll, we'll play a few TVP because it's been a long time. Also, it looks really pretty and PBR textures. So just for a change of pace. So is the Progetto still effective? Very effective. As a matter of fact, before 
before I started getting tired of playing the tank, I was pulling easily 4,100 for like the first 20 games or so. But um, yeah, let's have some fun in the TVP before we call things off for tonight. Oh my goodness. Just showed up and watched this. Not so stoned for, don't know for better. HRF Paid Actors Association. Oh my gosh. HRF, thank you so much for the $100 donation. I super appreciate the support. Thank you very much. Oh my goodness. So everyone, Everyone is just sitting there in the open pre-aiming. Very nice meme. Thank you very much, JSEC. Super appreciate the donation. I didn't expect the Waffenträger to be there already. Can anyone's already pre-aiming? I gotta pull out of here before I get yelled by the Yo 60 TP. I have no allied support here. That's that's important. The good allied support's the one I need. Okay. So the Yo has just fired off his magazine here, though. He should be pretty free at this point. Put one shot into this Yo. Aim a second shot. I do love the TVP's clip. Oh, let's run away. That's a 183. Okay, 183 is not going to be shooting at me anytime soon. There's a leopard problem to deal with. And a 60 TP. We'll have to pull into the mid. Their team really sent it to the corner there. I wasn't expecting them to send it so hard down low, but there you go. No! As much as I love the TVP, it does not do well in this kind of situation. Okay, we're going to have to figure out how to relocate from here. Let's try and get into town. Try and get into town safely. Nope, TVP's just going to full send it onto me, isn't he? Because I'm spotted now. Bro, what are you doing, TVP? There's a 183 behind you. I hope you know that. Man, this dude really wants me. Oh my gosh, and a leopard too. 183, nuke, nuke this dude. Nuke him. Make him suffer for, for such for such Pepega gameplay. 183, what are you doing? 183, you could have killed... 183 missed! Oh my gosh, how did you miss? You could have just hashed him. And I don't know what my allies are doing, but the 60 TP straight up just suicide yoloed into our spawn. So yeah, nice one 60 TP. You had full HP essentially, except for two shots. Our IS-7 is just blind. Our Kron is in the most useless position. Our VKB is just sitting in the back of town. Oh, teams are very Pepega right now. Oh man, I don't even want to deal with these fools. I don't know what to even play. Um. I don't want to just call quits on that. And of course, our bat chat did one shot of damage on the previous game. Our 30B also did two shots. How did they do so bad? I do not know. I guess we'll play another game in the, in the Progetto. I guess we're not done with the Progetto yet. Oh, goodness. The allies have decided that their, that their um, intelligence meters has decided to drop big time. I don't know how the 183 failed to shoot a pen hesh against the entire flat rear of a 60 tp that was staring away from him but he somehow did it if he had done that and killed the the, the 60 tp there i probably could have survived <laughs> you think this presented 65 is a strong take fantasy i do actually uh oh, my poor tvp tvp is a good tank and usually i perform super well in it but it just has way too long of a reload. That's the really big issue with the TVP. Like, as good as its gun can be, the fact that you have to spend 20 seconds just doing nothing in a medium tank is the most painful thing and the only reason why I don't really play the tank anymore. It's not that it's really that bad, it's just so slow. And it's also super fat, and its gun depression feels really clumsy because of how tall it is. But when you can get the gun to work on the TVP, it can be really good. Of course, we did lose that game. I never expected those dudes to pull off a clutch win there. Uh, but we'll just wait it out. We are in the Progetto now. Let's see. Maybe the E3 will give me a nice... Ooh, maybe not. Let's pull back just in case it got spotted there. Not really sure what Mr. E3 is trying to do here, but let's see if it gives me a nice side shot. Boom. One easy side shot into Mr. E3. That's good. That's what we'd like to see. If Mr. Uh, Vickers Light decides to pull forward, we can push it on to him. But I think the enemy team is very split up here. So... I might make a bit of a a bit of a sus play here. I don't mind the Progetto. I've just played so many games today. I kind of wanted a change of pace in the TVP, but that team was just so bad. I never got the change of pace I wanted. Ooh, there's the Vickers. All right, boom. One shot to you, Vickers. Very good. Apparently, I'm stuck on this corner. Oh, there's the Leopard. Hello. Quick shot to you as well. Okay. Oh, Mr. Vickers is showing up again for another shot. Very good. I'm glad I didn't yell the E3. I feel like I would have been mega farmed out if I had tried that. So that's good. Let's see if the Vickers gives me another shot here. Boom, another shot to you. Good stuff. We'll we'll start clearing out the 263 and all those dudes in just a moment. I think they are the ones that are in the open, so it may as well. I'm going to reload my next magazine and just go for this 263 here. Let's see. We should be 183 safe. Good. We have two shots in the magazine. This dude gets T95'd, and his life is, is just about to be over here. Boom. One shot to the lower plate here, and one shot to the engine deck. Boom. 
And then we can pull back a little bit. And he's dead. Very good. Very good. At least we're going to win in the, in the Progetto. <laughs> I think. Which is 3-3. Three, three. All right. It's a little closer than I wanted, actually. All right. They have someone on A. I think I'll go back towards A. See if we can get some defense from here. Boom. Nice. Clutch little kill shot there. 2,600 damage dealt. We got to try and deal with... Oh, another uh, 183. You know, 183s have been such uncool friends today. I think I should just full send it onto him and, and clip him out. Boom. One track shot into you, sir. Boom. Two track shots into you, sir. Boom. Three track shots into you, sir. Let's get safe from the leopard. This dude should be dead anyways. Good stuff. Full clip into Mr. 183. Nice shot into Mr. Leopard. Looks like the Vicar's Light went on to C-Cap. That's cute. Let's pull back in case the Leopard tries to yeet me. But he's getting yeeted himself soon. Boom. 4,400 damage dealt. Hey, at least we can end the Progetto with a decent game. Yeeted Mr. Progetto. Thank you so much for the free damage. I do appreciate it. I'm not sure what Mr. Progetto is doing, but that's 5,000 damage out. Uh, probably a first class. I don't think it's an ace, but a good game to end the Progetto. Then we just need some decent games in the TVP because uh, Mr. TVP looking a little sad over there. 2400 average. That's like two clips. This is the entry clip, not the 20 second reload. The entry clip's not too bad on the TVP. Like, it deals damage really quickly. And honestly, with how you need time to aim. <laughs> All right. First class. All right. That's a good one to end the Progetto on. Let's find a solid way to end our TVP on because our poor TVP do be looking very sad. Very nice. Uh, by the way, J6 Ranch, it's, it's great to see you. <laughs> I hope you're doing well. Is there a fan? It's between E50M and T62A, which is the best. Probably E50M is more is going to be what people prefer, although I think the 62A is the one I would choose, personally. I'm not really sure what Mr. Progetto is doing either. <laughs> okay, well, let's try and get a couple good games in the TVP, and then, uh, yeah, and then we can chill out for the night. So, TVP, as you guys know, it's much bigger than the Progetto. Look at the profile difference. That's, like, my biggest problem, probably, is that its size prevents it from being... Like, you have to be really passive. It was the Progetto with its kind of sneaky profile. You can be a little bit more aggressive and get away with it. I feel like the TVP is a little less comfortable for that stuff. All right. So we spot the Leopard and the Sheridan. If anyone crosses up on my left here, I should be able to spot him up. But I don't think that's the case. I'm now spotted, so I better pull down before, like, the 183 says hello. We're going to use this pillar as cover. No meds have gone to the corner, but we do have an I-7 headed that way. So I think with the assistance of our heavies, we can retake corner. Hopefully our Progetto... Gets moving a little bit. Otherwise, this could be problematic. Okay. Do I have cover fire from the tank destroyers? I do. Let's see if we can take corner and clip someone out real quick. And then maybe pull out if we need to. So, Leopard. Leopard super exposed here. Alright, let's, let's show you the photo power of the TVP's magazine. Boom. Two. Three. Well, only three shots in. So, let's reload our magazine. There we go. Good stuff. That poor leopard overextendo very big time. We're going to start working on this yo. And the key with the TVP is just clip and dip. It's one of those autoloaders. You can't stay stationary uh, and just hold the same position. You really have to move around to where you can deal that damage as efficiently as possible between those 20 second clip magazine reloads. So let's see. Mr. Sheridan here. My overextendo just a little bit. I don't think the 183 is in their spawn. He would have shot at me by now. So, if that's the case, I think we may as well make the pressure here with the allies. Yeah, I think we could totally pull this off. All right, let's see. We have Mr. Yo back here. I want to show you one of the most deadly things about this tank. It's HE clip. Easily the most deadly thing about this tank. As you saw with like two shots, we did 800 damage to that poor Yo. And just like that, 2000 damage dealt. HE clips are when the TVP becomes one of the most deadly tanks in tier 10. Because with four shots and 420 alpha damage, we're talking like close to 1700 clip potential. It's insane. Just how deadly this tank is once you give it the right kind of magazine. Oh, HE. Ah, I didn't think he was going to sit there. No, Bobby, what'd you do? Oh, Bobby. Oh, I hope Bobby didn't mess up the stream. She totally just stepped all over my keyboard and, and made my screen go black for a second there. Bobby, having fun, are we? 
One shot of Mr. T Badger, two shot to Mr. Badger, three shot to Mr. Badger, and four shots in the Mr. Badger. And just like that, we've done what? A lot of damage to the Badger. I wasn't paying attention. But okay, I think the stream's still good. Bobby, why did you have to step on the keyboard to go to the windowsill? She usually just steps on the desk, but she's like, no, the keyboard. Some reset something and totally got me concerned there for a moment. All right, 183 is practically dead. We got a girl on the flank here. We got Mr. E100 here. Can't quite pen that. Oh, well. Uh, let's see. He's going to back up just a little bit. Boom. One shell. Let's aim a second shell in. No. As you can see, penetration is probably not the stink's strong point. All right. Let's get ready. Oh, Mr. Sheridan being a little bit of a bit of a, a tunneler there. So let's pull back. No, the girl got himself killed. I want my damages. What is this nonsense? Okay. Really, Sheridan? You're just going to spend all game sitting there staring at me when there is like a plethora of things you could be doing right now? I'm gonna go kill Mr. Sheridan, actually. Time for some vengeance against this fool who dare, who dareth challenge me. You dare challenge the mighty TVP, brother. Okay, if you wanna pull forward, you can, but you're not gonna be able to kill me because IS-7's gonna come for you. Oh, snapshots for days. Let's reload our magazine for the 100 now. There we go. This is a much better TVP game. That shot was spicy. All right, shoot. Shoot that someone. Shoot. Go. Go. Do your thing, E100. I want the damage on you. Make it happen. Actually, don't get nuked, though. Whatever you do, just don't let yourself get nuked by everyone. If you let yourself get nuked by everyone, you have failed. You have failed society. Yoink. He let himself get nuked by, nuked by everyone. All right, not bad. Just under 5,000 damage. Definitely a better game in the TVP. Um, got a little bit of recovery after after that unpleasant experience last time. That should put us back at uh, 3,200, 4,900 damage. Very good. I don't know what my career average is in this tank. 3,906. I could never get this tank to 4K. Was very sad when I tested it back in the day. It was much worse than it was now, which is why my average was forever tainted in this vehicle. It could have been a 4K tank. Oh, he's sad. It's not a ball, it's a solar panel for mating machine. <laughs> Go to shot. Hey, what? Very nice shot. Hey, 423 likes. Guys, let's reach that 500 like mark before we're done. I believe in you. So can you believe in me and make it happen? Okay. We have, like, no adequate support. The leopard is doing nothing. The 113, I don't know. Like, if these dudes came down with me, I wouldn't be so concerned. But the fact is, they're all just sitting back here. I'm a little bit worried about what's going to happen here. I think I'm actually going to take the windmill. Let's do it. Let's catch that grill off guard and go for an HE clip. I think Gorilla may, might be alone. Uh, IS-4 is going to spot me out. That's an issue. Okay, IS-4 back down. Just back down. Enough for me to get here safely without being spotted by you. Okay. You have to wait for Ice Forward to back down and then we'll push to the mill. Goal is the clip grill with HE. I I'm going to pray that he doesn't have a spall liner and I get a 1600 plus HE clap clip into him. Clap. Yeah, I'm going to clap this boy. Prepare to be clapped, Grilla. Boom. Well, that's not quite the clapping I meant. I mean, I, I meant for him to get clapped, but not quite like that. At least I got some HE out. Now... Goodness, guys! How bad are you? <laughs> no! I was like, come here, girl, so you can get clapped. I didn't mean sit there and let everyone clap you. I meant so I could clap you. Okay, that's whatever. Gorilla has done failed society. All right, I might take one from the 100 here. It's fine. I'd rather just farm out some damage on this IS-4. And I think this is the pen spot. Boom. Look at that magazine, dude. When you get the TVP's magazine into the game it is pretty crazy not gonna lie okay so t100 lt is, is is big chilling somewhere i don't know where we know where the 183 is as well Ooh, i should still be unspotted so maybe just maybe oh ho 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 oh no not quite okay maybe e100 will give me a free shot here in just a moment i think 183 is about to go toasty toast he's about to become some deep fried toast okay Let's try and not take shots here from everyone. Let's avoid this dude. Very good. 
And 200 LT. Boom. One shell into him. Slip some HE shells. Boom. Another HE shell into him. Boom. Another HE shell into him. Boom. He's dead. Oh, yes. Dude, that clip is so... I will admit, the TVP probably has one of the nicest auto-loading guns in the game in terms of its accuracy clip potential or magazine potential, as people uh, prefer me to say. It, it is very difficult to beat that 1,200 absolute Chad farm fest in a few seconds. 4,000 damage dealt. Yes. Yes. That poor, poor 200 LT done mega messed up. Oh, you get something. Hi, streamer. <laughs> Hello. All right, how much did we do? First class, 4,300 damage. I think that went pretty well. Uh, R.I.P. by the way to those, the girl in the 4005 that for some reason, they just full sent it. They didn't care. They just full sent it. Goodness paid actors, right? Goodness. <laughs> Yoda, the streamers check and chat. Yoda, the streamers check and chat. Uh, yes, sometimes, sometimes I do. Every once in a while, I will peer into I will peer into the abyss that is the stream chat. Udachi to be a ja ja ah, spasiba. Hello, pay actor. Hey, Maria, get out of here. There is no such thing on this channel. I don't know what you are talking about. All right, so Batchet's gonna spot up the mid. I'm gonna spot up C. Hopefully they send their meds not this way. Ooh, as a matter of fact, this chieftain be looking kind of like a, a, a senior snack over here. No, 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 no. You're a senior snack, not a... What are you doing? Why are you sitting in the open just to slowly start backing... Oh my gosh, I am so unlucky. What was that? One out of four shots that actually hit and penned them? Ah, that should have been an easy bop on that fool. Okay, here's what we're gonna do. We are definitely going to work down this side. I think their team is split up. Their attention seems to be all over the place, which means good farm potential here soon. Um, wait for Mr. IS-7 to start backing up, and then boom. One shell to IS-7. Aim a second shell to Mr. IS-7. That's 600 damage there. Let's pull back before Mr. Patton gets any bright ideas. Boom. One shell, Mr. Patton. Uh, boom. Nope. Not quite able to hit the second one. We're doing okay. Fanus, love the TVP. That gun is brutal. I agree. It's such a good gun. It's just a little bit more difficult of a platform to get used to compared to something like the Progetto. Thanks to the do donation, Low Country. All right. Here's what we're going to do. Okay. Good stuff. Good stuff. Let's wait. Is Ice I'm going to pull forward or back? I'd rather not take another shot from him. Or maybe the Patton. Boom. One shell into the pattern here. Two shell into the pattern there. Let's aim a third shell into the pattern, maybe. Not quite able to. It is fine. Nice. Ice 7 goes down. This team was... This team isn't very bright. So I'm going to reload my magazine and drop into the mid. The pattern should go down pretty fast there. I will leave the bat chat in the 100 here for some potentially juicy farmer uh, experiences. So let's wait to see if Mr. 100 would be so kind as to oblige his about to disappear in HP pool into the damage farming simulator that is his Royal Fatness's channel. Boom. One shot into the 100 engine deck, two shots into the 100 engine deck. Oh, we, we caught him on fire. Oh, we caught him on fire. Oh, 1665. That's where this gun is crazy, man. Oh, ho, ho. wow. What a high damage clip that magazine that was. I'm, I'm trying to remember it's magazine, not clip. My brain hasn't p fully comprehended that yet, though. Oh, my goodness. All right, track, maybe. Not quite. Still, we can probably hit his fuel tank again. One shot, two shot, and another fuel shot. Boom. He's dead. Look at this gun. It's brutal. Man, I haven't done a TVP stream in a long time, and I haven't played the TVP in a long time. But I forgot, man. I don't always enjoy the TVP. It's a bit more hit or miss than something like a Progetto. But when you get this gun on a roll it is crazy how good it is at, at just instantly farming out damage boom two shot three shot no what i ran out of ap no i only had three shots in the magazine uh that was juicer juicer 450 likes let's go which is that 500 like mark i believe you can make it happen we are almost 4k average in the tvp now as we pulled i believe 5,000 damage out that game 5.6k first class pretty solid <gasps> did that increase my career average damage Oh, yay, we have 3,912 now. A little closer to 4K career. We can make it happen. <laughs> uh.
You just ate this entire HP that you 100. It's 6 a.m. in France. Oh my goodness. Very early. Uh, I hope that means you just now woke up and not that you're staying up for late to watch me. TVP equals tier X grave digger, but better because at least it has mobility. And that's what we like to see. Ah, uh, I really, I, just for the memes, I want to find an achievable tank and get like a full HE magazine out. That is the dream of the TVP. Also, I can't go hold on to mid, so let's let's take it a little easier for the start of this game here. Fadish, wish you a good farm today. Thank you, I will. The damage simulator, lol. I know, right? Ah, that's very enjoyable indeed. Ooh, 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 what do we got here? Some potential little munchy snacks, perhaps? A munch, a, a, a lovable little snack. One shell into you, sir. Two shots into you with the track shot. Really, E100? You know what? He was still a lovable snack. Regardless, I still hit three shots into him. Why is there an E100? You know what? I'm not even going to question it anymore. E100s are going to sit and spawn doing nothing more often than they actually play like heavy tanks. I should have accepted this years ago. I don't know why I'm questioning why he's sitting in the back of spawn. This is just how the game is nowadays. E100s are essentially worse 183 players. All right. So... Let's see. Mr. E5 might give me a shot here. Okay, I'm gonna I'm pretend. So Mr. K, so Mr. E50 gets a little more aggressive. One shot to him. That's what we like to see. Boom. Yeah, another shot to this dude's hatch. That's what we also like to see. Boom. Another shot to the E50. Oh man, this gun is accurate though. 1800 damage dealt already. That's what we like to see. Okay. Uh, who can we HE? No one. Maybe the E5? Maybe the E5. But where's the E100 at? Okay, so E100's being a wandering Andy right now. This might be my opportunity. Or, do we get revenge on the E100, wait for him to shoot, and just straight up YOLOs send it on him? Ooh, one track shot. Doom, two track shot. Three shot. Four shot. Oh my gosh! Easily getting a full magazine to that E100. And then if we wait for our next magazine, we might be able to H get like a, a fire, a fire on him if we wait for our next shots to clip him out. Okay, so eight seconds left. This dude is getting stuck. As long as he doesn't HE me here, we're chilling. Very good stuff indeed. I'm taking the shot here so I can just track him in the open. Boom. Okay. Okay, let's see if we can aim for those fuel tanks. Boom. Boom. 4,400 damage dealt. This tank deals 4k damage so easily. Man, I have totally forgotten. TVP can be absolute nutty. Nice. At least we wrecked that A100. <laughs> nice, nice. So tricks. Hey, what's up? What's up, boys? 463 likes. There we good. We have nearly achieved the 5,000 dream. 4,400 damage dealt. Yo. It's been a hot minute since I've played the TVP. And the Progetto, to be honest. Progetto is great and everything. And I wouldn't say the TVP is better. But I will admit... The TVP's accuracy is a million times better than what you get on the Progetto. And to me, accuracy is one of the biggest factors in whether I like a tank or not. It was one of the main reasons for years that I thought that Progetto was bad. Although I think it's not as bad as I thought it was back then. I actually like it a lot. Fast, I'll go, I'll go in a week to your 10 so you can get a free HE clip into me. <laughs> Uh, no rigging, sir. No rigging. No actual paid actors. I might end up getting banned, and that wouldn't be fun now, would it? What is this damage farming simulator? I don't know, Maria. Just, uh, normal NA server stuff. <laughs> I do have- I do have same control mode off, so these are the exact same teams you would be getting if you were playing right now, Maria. Hmm. Let's keep spying the crossing in case, but I'll be prepared to pull out. Because my team is a little split up here. Although, something tells me there's actually a good chance these meds are by themselves, but let's not overcommit to it just yet. Aha. 50 TP. All right, let's go. V oh, I did not expect there to be a tortoise there, but I'll take it. No, it's not the worst case scenario in the world. Two shots into Mr. Tortoise. Three shots into Mr. Tortoise. Oh my gosh. Oh, this clip is brutal. We took like over 1300 damage off of that poor tortoise there. He hates his life. I love my life. That was a great experience. Not for him, though. 23's not really paying attention, but the M103 is going to take his attention. Once she shoots the M103... Oh, you know what? 
I gotta make sure the 183 doesn't shoot at me first. Yeah, we're gonna kill the M103 first. He's more dangerous. One shot. Two shot. Oh, this clip is is, is insane. Three shot. And then E50M's yellowing. There we go. Oh, this tank is brutal. Yes. We've done like almost 2400 damage with two two magazines of damage so far. And I'm loving. Oh, that's a tank I can HE clip. That's a tank I can HE clip. Oh, no, 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 no. No, you don't. No, you don't. No. No, 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 no. You Pepega Piggy. Let me ram you. Oh, at least I got my revenge. Okay, I didn't expect them all to die so fast. How is- how is I supposed to farm damage when the fools of the enemy team are straight up just yoding themselves into the abyss? Also, I forgot to mention the TVP goes 60, which is nice. It's actually pretty fast. The acceleration isn't quite there, but it's still- it will still reach that number very easily. All right. Jacques, where are you? Come here, Jacques. I have come to finish you off. Oh, Jockey. Boom. Let's aim for some fires here, maybe. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Aim for a fire. Ah. Oh, my goodness. Was he full HP? How much damage did I do to this fool? Hey, we angled it up. Ends where we run away. Wee! We are no more freedom. Hey, we still got good damage out of that game. Dude, I love watching you play the TVP. Oh, thank you. I love playing the TVP. This is this was actually my favorite auto-loading tank in the game for when it first was released, but I just kind of got bored of the long reload. Oh, 4.8k damage dealt. Let's go spicy. 3,915. Woo, woo. We're bringing up our career average in this tank. That sounds exciting. 4,100. Ah, oh, this is fun. Good morning. Is Rasi. Vinograd. Доброе утро. Как тебя? Or как ты? <laughs> как ты? He's a kid. <laughs> when he's 26, he will not have the same reflex. When he's 26. Severus Snap! You, you peed on it when you should have moved. <laughs> what? <laughs> I'm not a kid! Get out of here! I'm not that young. <laughs> 26 is still fairly young. That's still a younger adult, in my opinion. I don't think you become like a, like a, an adult adult until you're about 30, personally. But, but that's just my opinion. Uh oh. Yes. Track shot, maybe? No, not quite. Still a good shot to get right off the bat. Also, Chad Foss just full sending it right through the middle of the map. Would you look at that? Boom. Shell to you, sir. And a second shell to you, sir. Seems to be by himself. Let's go. Oh, this tank's gun is so good. My goodness. I didn't think I was going to have so much fun in the TVP today. I was going to play Progetto, but after like 38 games of Progetto, I kind of got bored of it. Um, at least for the session. And then the TVP just comes out here and it's just like straight up. I'm going to show you the, I, I'm going to show you the way. The TVP totally showed me the way. Oh my goodness. Wait, 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 wait. No way. One shot. No, he was just being Pepega. I thought maybe he would AFK. No, what are you doing? What? Yes, exactly. Back off. <laughs> Back off, Waffenträger. I did not say you had permission to shoot at- Exactly. See, back off. You are going to die. I'm so mad. I saw an opportunity, the full HE clip of 57. I thought the glory days had happened. I thought it was the coming of- of- of my gamer experience. And then he drove forward. My gamer experience turned out to be a major disappointment. All right, let's pick up a quick kill on this Yag because, you know, he's dangerous. Ooh, 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 HE. Okay, I can still put some HE into this fool. Two shots. Look at this HE damage, dudes. Oh my goodness. It's so potent. Oh, I don't know how much damage we did to that STB, even though we fluffed the shot. Those other two shots certainly were spicy. All right, we can't load HE until we fired one shot because we only have three HE shells left in the magazine. So we will try and keep dutifully keep that in mind. However, oh, ho, ho, ho. Here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna start off by aiming for a track shot here. Then we're gonna load up our HE shells. Boom, one shot of HE. Boom, two shots of HE. That's what we like to see. And since we're damage farmers, we're gonna put another shot into the I-7. That's probably about 4,000 damage dealt, fires included. Now there's chillin', chillin' game in the TVP. Uh, almost 472 likes, so almost 500. Let's go, make that 500 like mark happen. Well, I just woke up and made a cup of tea and I'm watching your stream. Good start to the day. Ah, I agree. <laughs> Thank you very much, uh, Vinograd. I'm having a lot of fun in the TVP right now, which is big surprising. Our first like sub 4K game in a while. Oh my God, the HE. <laughs> I know, dude. TVP HE is so 
insanely good. Like, if you get this tank's HE rolling, it is so much fun. That's when it just becomes super scary. So let's see. Enemy TVP, TI2, those are tanks I can HE. I don't think I can HE anyone else on their team, but if I can get an opportunity to flank one of those dudes and just dump a magazine of HE into them, then we're talking. So we're going to go up to the mid to start this game off. Probably spot the crossing. By the time our magazine is reloaded, we will be big chilling uh, over there. There we go. Let's turn that camera out a little bit. Um, and we're just going to spot up to see if their heavies are crossing. Okay. Ooh, TBP crossed. Interesting play by him. One shot into the IS-7. One shot to the E-75 here as well. We know there could be a Yag up there. Okay, we're going to reload the magazine. So what I'm going to do now is there's a decent chance their TI-2 wandered off by himself. Nope, TI-5 went A, TI-2 went A. All right, let's go, let's go find their tank destroyers and slaughter them. So I have an E-50M and a Yo M5 Yo to provide some some kind of protective crossfire if they have a bunch of tanks above here. But I'm going to start off by spotting up this upper corner uh, from the left-hand side. That way they can't just straight up YOLO me and see if I can find any kind of wandering tank destroyers. Oh my goodness, yes. One HE shot. Come on, come on, come on. Two HE shots. 982 damage with two high explosive shells. That is what we're talking about. That is what we love about the TVP. Oh, okay, that was a mistake. I thought it was going to stay uh, booted on to me longer. All right, so we've already farmed decent amounts of damage. The enemy team are rolling in this way. E50M's coming in to provide some kind of support. I know the Yag's back here somewhere, so I'm going to wait for the E50M to try and spot him up. We got to kill this Yag very quickly, though. So hopefully the E50M can spot him up. There he is. Looks like there's also a V4 coming back here. Um, I'm going to prioritize the V4. Even though he has reactive armor, I feel like he's a more dangerous target. So I'd rather just focus on killing the V4 over the E50M. Just put another heat shell into him. Good stuff. Boom, another heat shell. Definitely not doing much damage to him, but I think it's much more worth it than, than the Yag that's going to be, you know, way too hard to kill for a while. So V4 is looking a bit lower. That's good to see. Uh, I know there's a tank on Encounter Cap that could shoot at me soon. I'm going to wait for my opportunity to push the Yag. Yag is just fired. Here's my opportunity to pull forward and kill him. No, I take it back. We're actually going to go for the TVP. So TVP is giving me one free shot here. We're going to put a second shell into him. Nice little max, max roll for the kill shot here. Yag is trying his best to angle up a little bit. Oh, he's doing a really good job angling, as a matter of fact. Um, let's aim for the lower plate. Boom. I can clip him with my next magazine, which is great. So I'm going to chill here for just a moment. We're going to have to kill this Yag as quickly as possible because we have three tanks behind us waiting to crossfire us out. So I'm going to let the Yo... Put it, put a shell into him. Yo, Yag has just shot. Here's the opportunity. I'm going to pull forward now. I know the Yo can't kill him just yet, but if I pull forward fast enough here, then we should be able to kill him together. He is tracked in the open. Boom. I'm going to reload my magazine now. Good stuff. So if he can capture A and together we can capture A, that would be kind of the best plan. I'm, gonna, I'm not going to cross in the open, but I'll probably get spotted. I'm going to take a slightly different route, but I'm still going to stay with the Yo. Our combined DPM is the most important thing right now. And so there we go. We managed to sneak to the left and oh my. This is an opportunity I cannot forfeit. This is an opportunity I definitely cannot forfeit. Yo, please let me get a full HE clip into this fool. Okay. One HE shot. Okay. No, 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 no. Two HE shot. 525 HE max roll. That's what we like to see. I'm going to push him straight into the Yo now. Uh-oh. No. Okay. He doesn't know I, I didn't reload. Oh, caught him on fire. Good stuff. Good stuff. All right. Put another shot to this dude. No, I didn't pick up the kill, though. I didn't pick up the kill. Yo, you got to pick up the kill. Yo's got to pick up the kill. If not, I got to ram kill this fool. Come on, yo. Come on, yo. Pick up the kill. I got to go because of the Conqueror. No, 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 no. No! No way you hit that. Yo, why didn't you kill the T-92? Yo, come on. He was a one shot. You had one mission. Oh, now you try to kill him. But why? You're going to take two shots now. Just kill. Oh my gosh, yo. I kind of messed up there, man. Firstly, the TI-2 had a fire extinguisher. No, I threw that game so hard. I thought the yo was going to kill the TI-2. He just pushed in and shoot him. Oh my goodness. Well, 5,000 damage dealt. Oh, that game had so much potential to it. I messed up one HE shot, which was the big mistake there, uh, which kept the TI2 alive, so I couldn't kill with a fire. And then the Yo didn't pick up a kill. No. That's so annoying. I wish the Yo had just killed the TI2 so I could have pulled past, and we would have won the game. I don't know why he didn't. I, uh, I made a bit of a mistake by not killing the T92 there, 
But I said I believed the fire was gonna kill him because he didn't put it out right away So I was like, okay, he's probably gonna die to the fire. He has barely any hit points left So I shot the 75 and pulled back because I didn't want to like overextend and take a shot from the 75 To just try and guarantee a kill on the on the TI2 if that would die But for some reason the yo didn't kill him Which I can't believe that game was so that game had so much damage potential. And I totally threw it there my goodness Anyways, we're going to cross to the left. They do have a Sherrod and a Leopard and uh, a Bat Chat. It's a lot of mobile tanks, but I also have a 200 LC and a Bat Chat with me. I want to get that early damage off right at the start. So we're going to cross right to this corner here. We find ourselves a Juicer VK90, uh, who I definitely can't farm from here. Let's see. I mean, I can try, but it's probably not going to go so well. Yeah, it's definitely not going to go so well. Oh, we hit one. Hey, one out of four. Mission accomplished. Okay, so the VK's over here. The Yo's over there. The 57's there. I'm sure the grill sniping in the back behind the VK. Uh, we have a lot of support here, though. We have a 60 TP headed this way as well. So I'm not super worried about how this game is progressing. Once that Leopard backs off, I'll, we'll be unspotted. The Bat Chat will probably be clipping out soon, which means I should be in a position to just dunk on one of these fools. So that's exactly what I'm going to do. Let's start off by dunking on the 57. So one shot to the 57 here. Two shots in the 57 here. Let's put a quick shot to the yo as well. Batcha is just yoloing. Um, Batcha. Uh, E3. Batcha. VK. Gu guys, are you kidding me? You're gonna let the Batcha survive a suicide yolo into the open. None of you had any recollection or realization that we was there. That is quite impressive, you know. I'm quite impressed by your ability to just be so tunnel visioned you can't see the batcha I blocked dead in the open for y'all. My goodness. Talk about exceptional teammates there. Boom. Two shots into this yo. I don't know if he's going to keep trying to shoot at me, but three shots into this yo. This yo is having a really bad day, obviously, as you can tell. Okay. Yo's not looking, so here's my opportunity to put a quick shot into this leopard here. Boom. Let's pull back. We're, blowing, we're doing a good job holding the mid here. I still can't believe that bad shot survived that YOLO push, man. Uh, this VK needs to move. These TDs need to be more effective and, and do anything. And our VK is about to go down as well. So that's not great news for us. 57, though, is making a bit of an aggressive overplay here. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right, all right. Leopard, HE. Not quite able to hit that. Boom. One shell to this dude. He is practically dead. Let's hit a kill shot into us. Pull away from the Sheridan. Good stuff. Okay. So what I'm going to do now is we're going to pull into the encounter cap. So let's put a quick shot into the sh yo. We're going to escape the crossfire that we are currently in to, to get safer. And so the yo shouldn't have any good shots on me. Let's run away from him. Bat shot. Hopefully you can survive that long enough to kill their bat shot. Good stuff. Okay. Our bat shot should be chilling there. The yo will probably be a bit of an issue. We'll have to deal with soon. But um, as long as he doesn't just straight up YOLO me, I'm not super worried about him, to be honest. I don't think he'll hit that. Yeah, we're good. Nice. And he's shooting HE anyways. Very Pepega. Okay. Okay, he fired twice there. Honestly, that was my opportunity to YOLO him, but I didn't. I kind of missed the opportunity. Because I don't want to YOLO with only three shots. Our E3 is still holding. Our VK is doing his best to hold. I think I'm going to reload my magazine, go towards the entrance of town. Now I can keep them spotted up from here. It's a pretty big good game so far, though. Not gonna lie. And we've been having a really good session in the TVP with 4.2k average so far. Um, good. Dio's making the exact play I expected him to. Now, I am a two-shot to him. I really hope someone will spot him up soon. VK, do you want to spot him up? Anyone? I'm just gonna, I'm gonna take it easy for now. They're gonna get impatient eventually and make a play. I just hope it's not on me. Okay, there's the Sheridan. Hmm. <laughs> The bat chat took their attention, but now they're going to be looking my way because of the bat chat's position. Okay, there we go. That's what we wanted to see. Fires once. Fires twice. He is now on a long reload. Boom. Put one shell into this dude. Put two shots towards this dude. Let's pull down before the grill hits me. Good stuff. Okay. So the grill is on a reload. Um, let's aim for a hat shot here. Not quite. What is that RNG? No! How do all the heat shells ricochet off his hatch for every AP shot hit earlier? And of course, our full HP 4 finally starts moving his tank instead of helping us out 10 trillion years ago. Dude, that yo is so lucky. Oh, I shouldn't have wasted my time trying to kill him. I could have just gone for damage on the Sheridan or something. It was unlike we were going to win once our VK died. But our VK just sitting in the open sideways... Uh, just doing German super heavy tank things that they do nowadays, which is pretty much nothing useful for the team is a big reason we lost that game.
Hmm. The issue with the TVP is that it is a little hard to play reliably. 4,263. I did almost exactly my average in the session so far. Um, like, we did pretty good. Our, our um, lights didn't really do the greatest. Our VK somehow did second to the top, even better than our 60 TP, who did two shots, but oh well. Uh, I just wanted, like, a nice ace game in the TVP, but we still chilling. Hey, Doug, what's up, Dogger? Teammate streak, nice. What is up, dog tour? In the end, it's very unlikely I would have been able to win that regardless. With a 21 second magazine reload, and they still had like a full HP Sheridan. Uh, a grill that was not within cl clipping magazine range. And there was just a lot of tanks that I wouldn't be able to kill there. I think I'm going to go heavy side. So, the thing about the TVP is it's really deadly against heavy tanks, not meds. If you put it into a brawling situation, you will find that it doesn't do so well in those kind of brawly battles. But if you put yourself in a situation where you're shooting tanks that aren't really paying attention, big, slow, heavy tanks, that is what the TVP is really ideal for. So that's what I'm gonna aim to do this battle. Now they have two heavy tanks, a 57 and a mil. Honestly, not tanks I wanna run into by myself, but I do have some assistance, I believe, from the allies. And I just have a, a hunch their whole team is gonna be going to the mid, if not to the right. So let's just casually spot it up through here. And if we can find the Waffenträger and put a nice HE magazine into him right off the bat, that'd be pretty lit. Uh, if not, no biggie. We are just going to start this game off by trying to see who we can spot up and from where. So we find a wild Sheridan. One shot into him, two shots into him. We get three shots into him. So we get three shots into the Sheridan right away, which is good. And the K91 should be able to finish him off from there. So Sheridan's trying to make a break for it. K91 does fluff a shot, so I might have to provide some assistance to the K91 here. Um, boom. Nope, not quite able to. I'm trying to see what hit me. I don't remember. I don't know what hit me, but Sheridan has to make a break for it. He can't stay there any longer. I want to put myself in a position where I can start shooting that Waffenthrug with HE. Because am I, oh my, does that look oh so divine. Please don't have a spell liner, sir. Oh. He's in a position where I can't quite shoot him just yet. But if he backs up a little bit... Uh, my controls are starting to freeze up. That's so, how you know I've been playing too long. I, I physically can't move right now. It's that bad. Oh my gosh. Ugh. I wish my iPad screen didn't do this. It's so annoying. Alright, no spall liner. No spall liner, guys. 900. That's how you one clip a tank! Mission accomplished! Waffenträger, without the spall liner, just got one clipped by my TVP. Oh my gosh. That has to be one of the fastest deaths you could ever have. What a beautiful clip. Oh, that was so satisfying and at the same time, so dirty. This man's got just destroyed absolutely annihilated. Oh, that was so fun. That's what we like to see, boys. Oh, wait, 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 wait. No! Okay, I'm, I'm risking a little too much for the HE shots here. Okay, let's put another shell to the student back up. So the game's still a little close. I gotta take it a little easy. Whew. Okay, we have enough room to put one more HE magazine into something like the ML2, but I have a feeling he's gonna get himself killed before then. Hopefully the E4 gets hushed by the 183 and then I can go for the ML. Nice. All right, let's go see if we can put a full HE magazine into this Emil. Um, if the 183 doesn't deal with him first. I really hope the 183 doesn't because I would love to just put some HE into this dude. So hopefully we'll get an opportunity to do that. I really hope the 183 like messes up a headshot or something. Come on, Emil, just come come down to Papa. Come down to Papa. Don't let the 183 HE you. Don't let the 183 HE you. Oh, you Pepega Piggy. Oh, you so Pepega. Come on, you took like 1300 in the rear from a, from a 183, so I'm just taking some for me. Ah! It hurts me to watch a waffle get clipped. I know, dude! Poor Waffenträger. Man's out here losing 1,600 hit points in a single magazine. That's how you know your life is not fun. It's not fun anymore. 4250 average damage, 11 games. TJ Worker, that's how campers deserve to die. <laughs> exactly, death to campers. See, Dougie knows what's up. Free 1600 HP. I know, I love doing that, man. So, when the 60, when the TVP was first released, I believe, um, it, 
It was before the the German tank destroyers had small liners. And so, or maybe that was during test. All that I remember is the TBP with four shells was just HE clipping everything. Maybe it was during test, but it was so much fun. I wish you could do that more often. All right, let's see. MX-50B. With just a 50B, I'm actually gonna make the the call to go ship here. I'm not gonna be really useless, useful against their meds. I would like to see if I can make a bizarre play and just like clear the V4, but it really depends on how many tank destroyers they send up to support him. That's a super important aspect of this. There's the AMX-50B being super aggressive right off the bat, uh, which is a bit interesting to see. Let's see, maybe one shell to him, boom. So I have him on magazine reload time here. Nope, that's a bit of a bad shot by me for sure. All right, so the 50B did go A. Oh, and that's a 263, so I can't really do much about him. We do manage to damage his Amrak though. Not quite able to hit the second shot. Okay, so 62A is by himself. This is definitely not ideal. Maybe I should have gone and helped the 62A now that I think about it. Our E4 is also killing himself. This is definitely not ideal. Okay. This game is looking a little bit bad. V4 just destroyed this dude's career. Okay. So, R215B is probably going to go down very shortly here. We do have two shots we can put into this Object 263, which will make him pretty much a one-shot for our VK. Oh, well, if we pin this next one, he's a one-shot. No! We mega low rolled. Okay. So, what we're going to have to do here is the allies are being big no, no buenos. Oh, why would you shoot at me? Boo! You're so unfun. Okay. So, allies are still doing big oopsies here right now. 405 is trying to cross fire. The V4 is content to just sit there all game and do nothing, obviously. Hopefully the 405 comes up and assists me up on the 50B. We need to kill the 50B and the V4. If the if he can take a shot from the V4, maybe. One shot to the V4. One shot into his tracks there. One shot maybe into the TV into the 263. I'll make this dude lower HP. Good stuff. And it's just me and the 4005. 4005, you got this, right? No, you definitely do not. Oh well, that was a good try. Allies were a bit of a yikers, if I'm honest with you. Okay, I want the 50B to YOLO me. That way I can just HE clip him. That's the goal. Come at me, 50B. Yes, come here. No, what? Oh, their whole team had shots on my front. That team was so bad. Nothing I could do about that. Even if I got med side, I guarantee we would have still lost that game. They had more meds than us. And for some reason, none of our heavies, like, tried to remotely play properly on the ship. Like, they should have been able to clear a 50B and a V4 out easily. But it ended up being me that was sitting there with the 205B by ourselves. Oh, no, our first mech game in the TVP for a while. I probably should have gone med side, but once again, I don't know it would have. <laughs> you suck. You just left me alone in the 62A. Enjoy the loss. Oh no, Thomas Chamberlain. I'm just gonna say, who's more, who's more at fault? Me for trying a different flanking strategy when they outnumber us on medium tanks, or you wandering off to sea cap by yourself because you didn't check that you had proper support and getting yoloed by the numerical advantage the enemy team possessed. So I don't know who sucks harder here, but I, I personally think lack of situational awareness and just allowing yourself to get yoloed for free uh, is more quantitative of having the big suck. Maybe that's just, uh, maybe that's just uh, my opinion, but that's what I personally believe. So don't come into my chat tilted because you let yourself get farmed out, boy. That's your fault. Accept it. I didn't play a perfect game, but you can't blame me for the fact that you didn't realize you were alone. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Maybe I went a little hard on him. Maybe I went a little hard on him. Uh, it's it's late night fatness. We we don't have uh, tolerance. <laughs> tolerance for pepeganess. Oh my gosh, you're toxic madness. Hey. hey, if he wants to come in here and it's, it's start like, start wagging his mouth in chat, expect it. 
Oh, that's an auto loader, huh? What is it? Man, their team is already practically dead. Okay, so maybe not an auto loader. It's one of their light tanks, I think. Boom, boom. You are dead. We have three shots remaining. Boom, two shot. No! <laughs> <laughs> but it's literally used 12 words he does not understand. Oh, oh, no, 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 no. Pull back, 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 pull back. Let me H-E you. Let me H-E you. Let me H-E you. No. This is not how you let me H-E you. Boo, you're no fun. You're no fun. <laughs> oh, that's the upper plate on the Progetto. That was, that was a bad shot by me. All right, Mr. Mouse, I'll let you pick up the kill. Enjoy. Oi. Mouse bounce. Watch the band bounce too. <laughs> Fat is borderline happy. Fat is has checked <laughs> into the stream. Intolerant Fat is has checked into the stream. Exactly. Hey, 500 likes. You guys crushing it. Crushing it. All right. 3,000 damage dealt. Not a bad game. Not really too exciting. Not the best farm. Uh, it was a very much a sweet battle. Uh, oh, oh, we, 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 we got to see. We got to see our, our homie over here. Um, how'd the 62A do? Oh, he did one shot of damage. Almost 80,000 games of experience, though. Man's got the experience. <laughs> uh... Oh my gosh. Dog water. <laughs> Lord, he's terrified when he yells. Yes, fear me. This is what Bobby has to listen to every day. Of course, I'm not yelling at Bobby. I'm yelling at my iPad screen. So she's very used to it. <laughs> I'm just kidding, of course. I was the AMX 30. Hey, GG! See, we have a man of culture here. 2800 damage in the AMX 30 prototype. Good job. We appreciate you. Okay. Um, Sheridan, Object 140, uh, Standard B. It's just me. Honestly, I want to go heavy side again. Like, generally speaking, if I remember correctly, the technique to damage farming at a TVP was you would try and yeet the heavies as quickly as possible. Um, obviously, you, that won't work on all maps, as on Yamato showed. I wasn't really able to, to do much there in that situation. But if you can, it is preferable. Really? It is preferable. We might take one from the Sheridan here. I don't care. I want to relocate. Um, it is preferable to try and farm out their heavies. <laughs> no, I messed up my repair kit usage. Please don't HE me. What are you guys? I'm so happy I pulled out when I did. So the whole Pepega Andy team is just straight up yellowing into our spawn right now. Uh, I dare you, with our with our 183 here. I dare you to keep yellowing out. 183. Please notice the fact that there is in fact an IS7 just yellowing out sideways in the open. Uh oh. Yes, this is what we're talking about. One shell into you, sir. What? How does he hit that? I call hacks. Two shots into you, sir. Three shots into you, sir. And boom, maybe a ricochet. No, don't HG me, don't HG me. Oh my gosh, my repair kits are all out. Now I'm getting yelled by grill. 183, are you blind? Grill, are you blind? Tank destroyers, I have a serious question right now. Are y'all blind? Oh my goodness. What are RTDs doing? Come on, I, I pinged for help on, oh, he's, he's AFK. Well, that explains why he was providing zero assistance there. I was like, come on, 183, you could have nuked all these dudes. The girl came back to help. I should have gone heavy side. See, I knew it. The TVP sucks when you get isolated on the flank. You have to always play at heavy side. This is the big brain way to play the TVP. Uh, not really my fault. I literally got yellowed by three tier 10 vehicles. Um... I literally got yelled by 3210 vehicles and spawn, but I had confidence that our 183 and grill would provide us with adequate cover fire. Obviously, the 183 is AFK and the grill like showed up way too late to even assist me that much. So yeah, very nice meme. Hey, just HEM. There you go. Uh, could they still win this? Oh my, they could still win this. The heavies could clutch up. Oh, the Waffenthrugger just got yoded out of existence. Goodbye. Is your iPad screen wearing out? Uh, it doesn't feel great. <laughs> Probably could try a different protector on it. That might help. 60 CB, you gotta go. Come on, E100, you got this. No. So the, the standard B, I think, is AFK. He hasn't been spotted, like, all game. All right, just pen this. There you go. Good stuff. 
WZ just needs to stay alive. I think with the Sheridan there, it's not going to happen. The Sheridan's just going to kill the WZ. D WZ, don't pull forward unnecessarily. You'll just... <gasps> oh! Oh! Sheridan messed up. Come on, shoot, shoot the IS-7. I don't know where he was aiming, but that's not where you shoot at an IS-7, my dude. 60 TP, get to his side. No, they're not going to win this. The 60 TP can't possibly. Unless he massively high rolls or gets to the IS-7 side. Yeah, there you go. There you go. Pen it. Yeah. It was a good try. It was a good try. He didn't quite clutch up there. Bro, teams have been so bad since 5.5. LOL. Yeah. I mean, I don't know what the 60 TP was doing. He literally had to pen two shots onto the IS-7. And he couldn't do that. I didn't do much that game. But, mind you, I did get this full senton by the IS-7. I... Uh, if the 183 wasn't AFK, it would have been a perfectly fine play. I don't know why he just went AFK. That's so annoying. And the grill didn't really help in time either. Ah, well. Ah, well. Oh my goodness, we're about to play 15 games in this tank? I didn't realize I've been playing this long. Imagine trying to rely on your teammates in 2022. From my perspective, to be fair, from my perspective, he was just sitting there, and if tanks got spotted on the side, he would turn and shoot them. I didn't take enough time to check whether or not he was actually alive. Uh, it just it just so happens he was AFK, so. And there are some things you can't really, really, really change. Um, boom. Nice early magazine into this dude. That's always fun. Good stuff. Looks like we got a 140 Vickers and a Sheridan on the left. Looks like we have a 183 in the mid. It looks like I have zero support. So here's what I tip out of here and just kill their meds. So the, the, their, their meds definitely need to die because their yo is by himself in the mid. So we're not in a position to really focus on me. All right, here's the 54. One truck shot into him. Another shot into this fool. Oh, I suck. I suck. I suck. No! What? Oh, come on. The angle is so pepega. Okay. There we go. Good stuff. Ooh. I like what I see over there. I like what I see over there. Wild Waffenträger. Oh, come here, little one. Let's reload our magazine. I don't know if the Sheridan spotted me up or not. I don't know if the Waffenträger is even there. I don't know if I can spot him. Let's see. So the the intelligent thing to do here would be to kill the yo. Probably. Kill the yo. So Waffenträger ain't here. So this would be the logical play to make. Hopefully without getting hashed up the rear as well while we're at it. Mind you, I kind of expected one of these dudes to come in and shoot him, but apparently not. Bit unlucky that the Yo has so much reverse speed, although I wasn't going to die to him regardless, so I wasn't too worried about that. I wish I could have farmed out the Waffenträger. It would have been fine if the, one in th if the 183 wasn't a threat. Because I didn't know what the 183 was up to, I had to take it passive. Okay, so Sheridan's going to come straight up for me. Oh, wait, I only have 460 HP. Why did I let him kill me? I am very much brain dead right now. I think I'm just getting tired. Also, guys, can you kill the 183 already? <laughs> oh, gosh, I'm 60. There you go. Good stuff. Good stuff, boys. Well, we still got decent damage out. Not as much as I would have wanted. Most of my damage was into the yo. And, yeah, I guess 3,000 maybe. Wasn't perfect, but oh well. <laughs> Hi, it's Roy Fan. I just got on. What's up, Derek? How you doing? Oh, this is practically a TVP versus Progetto stream at this point. 3.3k damage. No, my average damage in the Progetto, in the TVP. This is so sad. We had such a good streak in it at the very beginning. Ah. Too much blitz. I know, definitely too much blitz. I'm going to have to take tomorrow off for sure to let my brain and voice settle down. Because my, my voice is like, it's just like going to disappear soon. Ooh, what do we do here? I don't think we have the magazine reload time. Do we have time to take kill? Patton, Batch at TI2. I'm going to lose too many hit points if I try taking hill. I'm not fast enough. You can see compared to TI2. I will put myself into a position, though, where I can ideally farm one of these Pepegas on the way up. 
Patton, please try to get up the hill. Please try to get up the hill. Please. Please. Patton, you are so uncool. Okay. Well, but the pan's not, then the yo might. Boom. One shot to this fool. One shot to this mar <laughs> fool. One more shot into this fool is what I was trying to say, but as you can see, I can't even talk anymore. English has left the chat. Another shell towards the yo. Not really getting much farm onto him. TI2 somehow got lit up over there. Oh, I should say my magazine. That bat chat do be looking like a snack. Okay. Well, let's see if we can still put some shots into this fool before he ends up getting himself killed by a ho -ri. Well, it's not even really worth wasting my time on, but he's already dead. So definitely not worth wasting my time on a dead man. Okay. Hmm. So. That's an E100 on the flank, I would assume. Yeah. Boom. One HE, 400. Two HE, 400. Oh, that HE is brutal, man. It will always be so brutal on this tank. I love it. Okay. So if that, if that, at this point, we know where both their tier 10 TDs are. E100 somewhat isolated if we make a play on them properly here. So. What I'm going to do is help our 263 out. But I need to take the correct approach into killing this E100. Why do not expose myself to all these tank destroyers? Uh, we should probably focus on the pattern first. But you know what? The E100 is a little more dangerous. So let's see if we can't kill him off first. All right. Let's start off by trying to find the E100 here. Boom. He didn't take the bait and shoot at me. So I won't really be able to push on him now. 263 is being really passive as well. Opportunity to shoot him. Boom. Another shell to him. Another shell, pick up a nice clean kill shot. And instead of poking the 183 when I only have one shot in the magazine, let's just pull back. There's no reason for me to take a shell from him unnecessarily there. So let's just retreat from there. Uh, TI2 is looking a bit down. Looks like the Yo should have the... The crown should have the Yo soon. I'm going to just casually... Nice. Make a bit of a, a downward aggressive play here. So we have a wild Jagdpanzer. Whom I can't really spot that there's one shell to him. Kind of ricochets. I think the Yag just fired, so here's a good opportunity to just pressure forward. But a track shot onto this dude. We're going to pull down low. No way you hit that. Boo, 183. You suck. <laughs> You're so... Oh, why, why, how did the 60 TP not shoot the 183? No, I was thinking if I backed down fast enough, I'd be able to escape him. Apparently, he has enough gun depression there. I didn't think he'd be able to shoot this far down very easily, but... The game was already over. I wasn't going to get much more than one or two shots because of magazine reload time anyways. But, it's still a little annoying. Come on guys, you got this. Just push up together. There you go. You got this, Kron. Never mind, maybe I could have got more shots off. My allies are not doing a good job killing them off. Oof. And the 1A3, of course, gets the lucky high roll. Why is it that every time that it's like... A unnecessary kill shot. They always get the lucky high rolls, but every time it's like a super necessary kill shot, the 183 is always low roll. That's how it works. That's exactly how it works with the 183. <laughs> Oof, wrecked. I was playing such a nice game, too. I mean, I knew the 183 would try to shoot at me. I didn't think you'd actually be able to hit that at that kind of speed. That's why I was immediately pulling to the building. You saw when I was going past the pat, and I didn't just like stop in front of him, I was pushing down below him. But I thought the Yag would be blocking most of his shots, so by the time he had the opportunity to shoot me, he'd just be out of, uh, I would just be too far down. He barely, barely managed to hit that. Given, like, half a second longer, I would have been out of his, out of his reach there. We still did 3,700 damage, though. Still did pretty good. 60 TP did okay as well. That was, like, two shots that the 183 hit. Lucky. <laughs> uh, I just wanted to end it on one last nice game in the, in the TVP. 530 likes, let's go. I don't know how long I've been streaming for, but it's probably been close to four hours. No B. <laughs> When's your next day you do playing? 30,000 subs. Everything happens during the 30,000 sub t uh, stream. Once we reach 30,000 subscribers, I will try 10 hour stream. This is assuming we achieve that number before uh, my next semester starts at college, which is in late August. So, uh, if my semester is going, I won't have time to just stream Blitz for 10 hours. So, let's hope we can make this happen sometime over summer. Hmm. So, we got a bat, we got a, a bat shot here. The 54 seems a little lost. Yoink. 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 
Nice little sneaky position. So a fun way to play on this map, if you don't realize, if they don't have someone there, you can actually play up this hill, but go sideways, not over the top. You can go up at an angle. That way you get like easy shots over there without having to overexpose yourself. Huh. So I heard a rumor that our team actually had a, set, uh, a 4005 on it. I believe this was just a rumor though, because obviously we don't have a 4005. There is no proof of us having a 4005. Oh, that's where you are, buddy. <laughs> it was a rumor. <laughs> Sleep stream, right? 24 hour live stream. I don't think I could do 24 hours. If I managed 24 hours, I would be amazed myself. I'd be like, I am essentially immortal at this point. I would have to be immortal. There is no way I would do a 12 hour live stream otherwise. All right, one shot to you, sir. Another shot to you. Another shot to you. Very good. And another shot to you. No. TVP's gun is so nice though, man. Really am enjoying this tank. Sleep stream. You guys want to see a sleep stream? How does that make sense? <laughs> Where is the joy in watching his royal fatness sleep? I do not understand. The things that bring people simple joy in the world nowadays. It really is incredible when you think about it. Yoink. 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 Psych. Yoink. <laughs> I just going psych and yoink. Hey, 60 TP, you're no fun. So we've already dealt a decent amount of damage this game. Actually, there's a lot more damage potential in this battle, which I'm excited about uh, potentially farming a lot more. I just need to make sure I don't throw away any of my hit points unnecessarily at this point. Hopefully, I don't think this, some, the, the object can spot me from here. Uh, 60 TP certainly can. So let's pull down in case he gets any ideas. Good stuff. All right, there's the bash shot. Hopefully, I don't get spotted just yet. Okay, 268 pulled back up. There's a 60 TP. Can't quite snap him. Eh, well. Uh, we have an opportunity to maybe kill the Batjack here, though. It's probably worth taking that. Boom. Another shot to the 60 TP. Look at this gun, man! It's so accurate. It's unbelievable. It really is a point-and-shoot gun. You get this tank into any prolonged engagements. I'm out of APCR almost. And I'm telling you, you farm like an absolute champ in this vehicle. So... I think I see an opportunity showing up here. I'll have to shoot one heat, and then we'll have to switch all to uh, AP after that. All right. So, oh, please don't high roll any tungsten. Oh, my gosh. Get wrecked, buddy. Oh, get wrecked. This is the good game I was looking for. Oh, oh, no. Why? I, that could have been 7,000 damage. Darn it. No, he's actually dead anyways. That doesn't matter. I got, I got the kill on the 60 TP. That's what matters most, guys. That's where the fun begins. The fun is if you have a loudspeaker and donate money to make sure you fa don't fall asleep. Oh gosh, dang, that would suck. That should be an ace, right? That was 6,000 damage. 6,000 damage almost. Not an ace! No! How much basic speed was that? Oh, 1440. It's actually harder than ace to think than I thought. Boo, oh, Jake, you suck. I could have had an ace that game. Okay, that was... The last good game of the stream. Uh, I actually really haven't played Blitz since last stream. So I don't have any new replays to show you guys. I apologize. Good news, though. Um, we've been streaming for just about four hours. So that was great. I hope you guys enjoyed. Lots of uh, lots of great TVP and Progetto action. Pulling at about 3,900, 3,800 in both of these vehicles. Solid win rates at 70, 74. They are both very good tanks. I didn't mean to make this into a TVP stream, but I was just having so much fun. I forgot how nice the TVP's gun is, man. Uh, so it was always... It was uh, an enjoyable experience indeed. Uh, I'm going to do my best to try and get you a bobby cam, but let me adjust the lighting so I don't blind you guys first. Because uh, we have to have our post, post stream bobby cam also. Um... Hello. Ah, there we go. Whew, hair's looking wild today. Okay, uh, let's turn let's turn this light to like orange, and then there we go. Now we have the bobby cam. You know what? I'm just gonna turn it off. I'm just gonna turn it off. There we go. Bobby cam. There we go. So now you now you guys can say your farewells to Bobby. Okay, guys, that's it for me tonight. This was a very enjoyable stream. 
thank you so much, everyone, for, for showing up. And oh, goodness, thank you for the massive donations. You guys know who you are. Super appreciate the support. Everyone who liked the stream, uh, everyone who just showed up and enjoyed, always appreciate the support. Let's reach that 30,000 subscriber mark by the end of July. I think we can make it happen, so let's reach that. Uh, always appreciate it if you could share the channel to anyone who may be interested. And, um, and shout out Bobby. Bobby's the best. We are all here for Bobby. That's right. Fan is flexing his smart. Okay. See, now Bobby's like, human, you upset me. Oh, that's the back of my monitor. There we go. Hey, Bobs. Oh, who's a good girl? Oh, yeah. I, I want to try. Okay. Oh. <laughs> He's so cute. You're so cute. So I've recently got into illustration on my iPad, which is a lot of fun uh, and stuff. Uh, so I got one of these things. I was thinking... How bizarre would it be if for like a challenge you had to play Blitz, but your right hand could only be with an Apple Pencil? Like, wouldn't that be interesting? I'm just saying. Future challenge suggestions, baby! 550 likes too. Uh, you know, it is an option if we ever have like a future challenge stream. Maybe for our um, 30,000 subscriber stream when that happens. Dogs rules and cats rule, lol. Get out of here, Team Trouble! Bobby is the best! This is Bobby's sanctuary! Bobby is practically worshipped here! How dare you! <laughs> uh, that's so freaking adorable. I know. She is, she is truly the best. Okay, guys. With that out of the way, thank you very much. This was a very fun and enjoyable stream. I hope to see you guys all next time. Uh, for whatever whatever tank I feel like playing next, as I don't think there's any new tanks that are really worthy of getting their own new showcases. So have a great night or morning or day or just have a good one wherever you are. Peace.